Hello. Hi, Alexis. Can y'all hear me okay? Hi, Carly. Hi, Violet. Hi, T, everyone. Can y'all hear me? I got a new microphone. New microphone. You hear me first? Okay, good. Cool. We got Mr. Nugget here with us. Hi, Isabella. Hi, Marble. Hi, everyone. Hi, Lana. Thank you, Carly. Hi, Melanie. Hi, Meg. Hi, Brittany. Hi, Peggy. Hi, C. Hi, Karen. Isn't this such a cute restaurant? Hi, Kiara. Hi, Nancy Ray. Hi, James. I know it's a very cute aesthetic. Hi. Lextasy? Y'all, y'all, they got Nugget a cappuccino. Look at this. This is made for Nugget. Just want to make sure that's not cocoa on top. Hey, Chris, is there cocoa on top of this? Is this cocoa or is it maybe it's something else? Okay. I think dogs are very allergic to chocolate. Just FYI. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Hi, Katie. Hi, Peggy. Uh, the new thing, yeah, making sure we're sat down. Exactly. Oh, thank you, Jaden. Well, we are making up for everything today. Hi, Baphomet. Hi, everyone. Hi, Kate's mommy. This is, this is Mr. Nugget over here that we got. No, it's okay. Don't worry. Um, so this is a place that I'm very excited about. Been meaning to come here for a while now, and uh, we finally did. So it's called Crown and Crumpet. Crown and Crumpet. Thank you, Chris. Uh, San Francisco is generally very trans friendly. Yes. He isn't a baby stroller. So we have a very extensive menu here. This is high tea. Look how cute this menu is. Hi, Chris. Thank you. Um, so I'm assuming we're wanting to do the afternoon tea for one. That's That seems to be like the, uh, the move here. Uh, a puppuccino. Thank you. Ready for little nugget. Much appreciated. There you go. Let me know when you're ready. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right, this is the puppuccino. You ready, Mr. Nug? Make sure it's not it's just warm enough. Perfect. You ready? Want some puppuccino? Want some puppuccino? Some puppuccino? You like that? You like that? A little bit warm, huh? You like it? Yeah, it's different than what you're used to, huh? You like it? Okay. It's good. All right, so Nugget's got his puppuccino. Keep that there for Mr. Nug. Um, I'm assuming we're going to want to do an afternoon tea for one, which is a large pot from our selection of loose leaf tea. Hi, Bonita three freshly made finger sandwiches, two warm savories, one scone and crumpet with, cut, with clotted cream, house-made lemon curd and jam, and four sweets and treats. Okay. So uh, let's take a look and see. What state we're in California? Hi, Britt. Hi, Jeanette. Hi, Bee. Hi, Darren. Hi, everyone who just said hi and I missed it. Uh, this is Nugget, Mr. Nugget here. All right. Um, let's see what we got. 
In terms of, all right, so an after, a large pot of tea from our selection of loose leaf teas. Uh, that is number one. I would imagine, I mean, my eyes are drawn immediately to the special reserve, right? I see the special reserve. It's in, it's in like a special thing here, special reserve. Hi, Wavy. Just in time for tea, exactly. Um, so there's the Ban Mu... Bai Mu Dan, which is a white peony, is perhaps the most natural of teas from the Fujian province of China. It steeps to yield a clear straw-like color with tastes of melon, grape, and herbs. This tea pairs very well with both savory and sweet foods and is light on caffeine. Okay. Advice for cake pot bottom surgery. Um, what specifically do you need advice for? Um, I'm happy to give it. Just need more specific question. There's also the Imperial Pu'er. How do you say that? Pu'er? Pu'er? This high-grade cooked Pu'er that is a unique and rare tea with numerous health benefits. Light on caffeine, it can be steeped multiple times. It's an unusual ancient tea, and once you try it, you may give up on coffee. Okay. Lychee Kongu, a black, tea, black leaf tea flavored with the freshly squeezed juices of lychee fruit. This tea, this naturally sweet tea is made from a varietal in the Fujian province. The tea is fragrant and quite delicious, served either hot or iced. Hey, Amy. Um, I'm going to be as strong as you? I mean, Marie, you have it in you, I promise. I promise you do. All right, so we'll ask. I was curious about the um, special re reserves. By the way, do you want to introduce yourself? Oh, sure. All right, everyone. Can you see me? Oh, here. Yeah. Go ahead and you want to tell us oh, who hi. you are. My name is Amy, and I am one of the owners of Crown and Crumpet, a room with tea and wit. And welcome. Thank you. So excited to have you. We're excited to be here. Right. Can you tell us a little bit about? I mean, my eye is immediately drawn to the special reserve. Of course, because that's the chicest of teas. Exactly. Um, what, which would you recommend? Well, I love Imperial Pu'er, but that is a very um, acquired taste. Okay. It's the oldest type of tea. It's the only tea that can be fermented. Uh, it can be the older it gets, the better it gets. Okay. It's like a fine wine. And it's okay. quite, um, not smoky, but dusky cellar. Like it's been stuck in a wine cellar for 50 years. Okay. So it's very good for you. There's all sorts of stuff. But may not, it's not for the faint hearted. Okay. But so lychee kongu is super popular. Okay. And um, that's a, a really great high quality black tea from China with um, lychee, real lychee pieces. And when uh -huh. the hot water gets to it, it's freeze dried, but it releases the natural oils. Gotcha. It's quite strong. If okay. you like lychees, lychees, I do. how do you say it? I, I say lychee, but I could see it being lychee. I don't know. I didn't know. Maybe it's just that English thing. In England, I think they say lychee. So depending on which accent I use, I did it. But well, that's quite tasty. It's very, it's a nice, strong taste, and it's a very strong black tea. Okay. Well, I think we'll put it to a vote. Smile for how do you say poo pu pu'er? Pu'er. 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 Yeah. Pu'er. All yeah. right. So smile for pu'er, which is like the musky, dusky, aged one. Frown for lychee. Smile for pu'er. Frown for lychee. Let's I see. If you want to see, there, there's like a little poll happening oh. here. If you want, it, it'd probably be easier if you came around this way, and you yeah. can like watch the screen. And then and you know, I'm gonna be sitting having tea. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> there it is. And me a nugget. Nuggets. Okay, let's see. All right, so you can see there's like smiley faces and frowns. Oh, oh, I. So it said smile for the aged one and frown for the lychee, and it looks like lychee is winning. Okay. Although I would kind of like to try. We can do both. I would love to try both. Okay, because I mean it's really interesting to see with poor. It has to be, you have to fresh re refresh the leaves. It has to be okay. steeped three times. It's, okay, it's a smaller pot. It's really cool. Like I yeah. can show you how it. I would love happens. to do that. Okay, we'll let's start do that. On that. And then, and then, um, did you like your puppy Chino? He did. He yeah. loved his puppy Chino. I wanted Chino. to add whipped cream, but Chris said no. Dairy's not always good for dogs. It's true. But a little doesn't hurt. But that's okay. You look like you got a bit of a milk mustache. No, he does have a milk mustache. Can't take you anywhere, can we? Mm -mm. All right, let's go. So I'm going to um, start you on the tour. Okay, cool. And then do you, should I, we're going to do afternoon tea for one? Oh, for sure. Should I go ahead and put that through? Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, we can definitely talk. Yeah, so, okay. So let's go. I guess we got to go through the order then, right? And what, like. 
Well, there's... this is what we're famous for. And oh, for sure. Yeah. I definitely want to do so that. I don't have to ask you any questions. You get what you get. You don't get upset. Except oh, okay. if you have any dietary restrictions um, or if you're like, wait, are there going to be egg sandwiches on that? And you're like, I hate eggs. Then we don't do eggs. Gotcha. We don't. We don't give you a choice uh, but we will tell you only because we make everything in house okay and we don't have time for you to sit there and go okay i want this sandwich and that sandwich and okay. this one and that's not how it works in the uk when you go okay. to afternoon tea, you are you get they bring it to you okay and then you pick what if you don't like something you leave it and usually they'll come and say oh can i replace that with something gotcha. so we're always happy to tell you what we're serving that day because it can change okay so what are you serving today okay so today we do our classic egg salad okay on a mini croissant. Croissant. English cucumber with cream cheese with mint. Okay. That's going to be open faced. And then one of our protein sandwiches. Now I'm going to tell you what they are, and you may you can say, oh, actually, I'll have the ham and cheese okay. or whatever. So we have a honey roasted ham with English cheddar and apple, a turkey cranberry, or a coronation chicken salad, which people love. That is a classic English tea sandwich. Okay. It's a light curry chicken with apricot and almonds. Okay. Now these are smaller sandwiches, yes, right? Without the crust, it's like a half half a sandwich. So we do them quite large. A lot of tea rooms will t- cut them into quarters. Okay. But we feel for value for money, you should get half a sandwich. Okay. So, but you'll get three three pieces. Would it be crazy to ask to try all of them? For you, honey, sure. <laughs> yeah, we should do that. Okay. I want. I want to. I want so that when people come, I can be like, "This one was the one." Okay. Or like, "This okay. one was my favorite." All right. So it'll be four different tea sandwiches. Perfect. And then you'll have two savories. Okay. You'll have one scone, one crumpet, a lot of cream jam and lemon curd, and then you'll have four sweets. Hell yeah. Okay. So I hope you're hungry. I'm always hungry. Oh, my office, my office. Okay. And then, so <laughs> let's, I'll put the order in and then I'll bring you the puer. And if you want, I can show people how, like what it looks like. Oh yeah. Okay. Please do. All right. All right. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> There's no oregano on any of this stuff, y'all. They don't do oregano on high tea. <laughs> there's no oregano on high tea. I can ask, but I don't think there's oregano. I'm like 99.99% sure. I agree. She's a hoot. She's very sweet. Um, this is high tea. Uh, it is super cute. I agree. What if it's hiding? We'll just have to deal with it. People know that I don't like oregano. Whenever I do these streams, I like just cannot with oregano. But this is this is nice. Like this is they're having us here uh, to show off the menu. So I'm excited. Um, this is like a concept restaurant, I guess. Yeah, I'm having tea. British food is being seasoned with salt. Rosemary, not into it. The person, into it. Not, yeah. Yeah, isn't this? I'm English, so I'll be judging this with great interest. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Um, one of the the person who was just on stream, Amy, her husband, Chris, who's not going to be on camera today, is British, and he's also an owner. So there is Britishness in this restaurant. High tea is more dinner, meat, and potatoes. Is it really? Is it really? I, oh, so this is afternoon tea as opposed to high tea. Okay, I apologize. I now know the difference. Well, I'm glad you're here, Kay. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you, Phil. Okay, apparently... Okay, so high tea is like more of a um, meal. Wait, I have a British husband. <laughs> Different Amy. Uh, no, there's other people here. I just like... It, I just cleared it so that we could get a nice... A couple other people here. It's like a Monday, so... Um, high tea means something... <laughs> yeah, Okay. Can we get a closer look at the... Yes, you can get a closer look at the teacup. So this is Nuggets Puppuccino. Oh, thank you, Amber. Amber just sent a nice little meal gift. It's very nice. Ooh. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Okay. Okay, do you want to put it... come back over next to Nuggets? Yes, you can. Here, I'll, I'll clear some space so you can put it down and do some explaining of what we're about to see. Yeah, this is a little bit of a, a lesson. Okay. Okay. Okay, now get back. And Chris is going to do a light tea for you. Too. Ooh. All right, you get you get your um, cappuccino later, Nugget. Now, I noticed you're showing them our logo. Did you? Say, yes. Did you talk about? I haven't had a chance oh, yet. Okay. Do you want Do you want to show the camera? Oh my god, I love this. Hey guys and gals, and people. Okay, so we have 
our saucers, 14 different quotes in the saucer. And we try to make sure when you come that all the saucers are different on the table because it's a great talking point. And they usually have their different quotes that have to do with tea, good manners. This one says gossip and scandal are the best sweeteners for tea. But then there's ones that are cheeky. And some are even from those Christians. Oh, this one. Churches. Here's to tea and bite-sized cakes. Here's to hoping nothing breaks. Oh, that's from a child's, a children's book for my daughter. That I like I that one. Tea's proper use is to amuse the idle and relax the studious. Um, and uh, two of them come from, you know, on roadside churches in the Midwest, they have like quotes on, yeah, I got two of those. Okay. Something about worrying in the dark room, I don't know. Good man. Oh, this is a very important one for everybody. Good manners will open doors that the best edu education uh, cannot. One must always keep that in mind. Isn't it? Do you have merch? Do you have merch? Um, I have teapots available. Some with our crown and crumpet teapots, which are quite, teapots. This is a smaller one, and they also have a quote on them and our logo. And then teacups will be available soon. Okay. I do have a retail store up in Marin that has really cute stuff, but not down Could here. Could people order things online? If they call me, they get to have a conversation with me. Call hey. Crown and Crumpet and talk to Amy. Yeah, I'll switch you out. Okay, All right. there's a light key. Okay, so kids, this is how pool air is kept in this Kangxi pot. It is a porous pot from the part of China mm -hmm. where they also make little mini teapots. And frankly, it should the tea should be made in a teapot made from this. They're always really little, and okay. you only do small quantities, but have a whiff of that. Ooh, that is musty. M yeah. Musky. M yeah. And musty so, and dusty, but not in a bad way. No, and it, that's because I don't have a whole lot left. This okay. is from 2006. Wow. The guy I bought it from, I got 10 cakes. They come in a big cake. Mm -hmm. I got 10 cakes 16 years ago. This wow. is the end of it. This he, is the end of it? Yes, because wow. he tried to buy the cakes back from me because it's such a good rare one. Huh. People pay tons of money in China for the pu'er, and it depends on how old it is, where it's grown. But you see how it's kind of compressed like that? Yeah, yeah, So you have to awake it. My hands are clean. Don't worry. So that's why you have to cleanse it three times. Okay. Is right. that good? Yeah, yeah. We're just, so, yeah there we go. This, so we've washed it three times. Okay, it's in there. And it's okay, in there. It. And we don't, you don't put it in a, um, usually we have like a, um, a strainer for okay. our teas. Okay. Because people, Americans are like, oh my God, there's leaves in my tea. Like, yeah. <laughs> so um, we, but for whoever you don't, you want the air to, you want it to aerate, you want it to swirl and swivel. Give me your tea cup. Okay. Come on, honey. Uh, uh, on oh, this oh, awesome. oh, excuse me, excuse me. Wait. Put it down. You're my new Jewish tea mom. Oh, yeah. I'm the Jewish mother you never had. Well. I have best. one, but now you, you can got be two. In, you, I got two. Yeah. And I believe if Julie's here, Julie Hi. is my adopted Thank Jewish you. mother. Um. Anyway. Oh, man. Do you mind if I partake? Yeah, go, I'm, go for it. Oh, my God. I love puer. It has so many great medicinal. Not, that's wrong. But so much. It's so good for you. It can help you sleep. It okay. gives you energy. Okay. Um. Even if you have it at night. I don't know if you tell the universe. Help me sleep, and it will help you sleep. Okay. If you like, I need energy because it's got a lot of caffeine in it, but it's really good. People, do your research because, um, oh man, I'm gonna hold that. it, hold it so you can it see the like logo. An old French Chateau's attic, it certainly does. It's hot, don't put any milk or sugar in it. I can see why you wouldn't want to put because it it's like it stands on its own, yeah, yeah. exactly. It's like a fine line. It really does taste like an old French attic. It, In it's a good way. It, yeah, it's cozy. It's a cozy tea. That's, that, yes, I had never thought of it. It's, I, it's I like, feel like an intellectual coziness. Mm, it's, it's very sophisticated. I was about to say, like, yeah, it's like 1950s tweed jacket cozy. In France, though. Why does it? Because French, France always has that smell. Le Francais. Oh, oui, en Francais. How do you say smell in French? Smell? Yeah. Oh, God, I have no idea. Some, Somebody I'm sure Marie out. Marie is uh, is French. I know at the very least Marie can tell us. Oh, look, somebody um, wants to hang with me. Come on down. See, there you go. Does she have her own TikTok? Yeah, Crown and Crumpet, right? Yeah, Crown yeah. and Crumpet. On Crown TikTok. and Crumpet. We don't do much about it because. I'm oh, Steffi, too. Sentir. Sentir. Je sent. Merci. Tu sent. Tu sent. Nous sentons. Merci beaucoup. Huh? Oui. My French is terrible. Hi, Ashley. But if I have a good accent, people think I speak it good. But I don't. Cheers, big ears. That's how we do it in in England. I can't say cheers without saying big ears. So cheers, big ears. 
That's how it goes, big nose. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've got a big nose, though. Um, this is very nice. I love it. Okay. It's very subtle, but like cozy and full of flavor. Super flavorful. Mm -hmm. And you know, most people are like, ooh, it smells weird. I don't think I'd like that. And no. then they taste it. It kind of becomes addictive. Do you know how yeah. I found out about it? How? We used to have a retail store over on Polk Street in, okay. um, in um, San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And this crazy woman came in, full of energy, wearing a really cool outfit. She was down from Chico. Okay. She's a little stoned, I think. And this is literally like 18 years ago. And she's like, we sold tea. And she said, have you ever tried Pruera? Have you ever heard of it? I had no idea what she was talking about. And she, I said, we, she goes, I've got some. And it sometimes comes in little, little wrapped um, balls, mm -hmm. like a little. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. And so she's like, I got, I said, I got a kettle. So we made a pot in the back and she showed me about cleansing because we didn't have a tea room. It was an antique shop. Mm -hmm. And so she made it for us in our little antique shop and we drank it. And I was like, oh my God, this is delicious. But yeah, so that was a long time ago. And then. Um, and here we are. Yeah. Here we are. 2006 vintage. Isn't that oh crazy? boy, here we go. Um, oh, His Royal Highness Sir Christopher has delivered the afternoon tea service. Oh my God. Heck okay. yes. All right, I'm going to move this over here. Oh no, it's here. We, we, we can find a spot for it, and no I'm problem. I'm going to move this because this is the three crumpets. Thank you. Um, and they're cold. And we don't want the crumpet and the scone to get cold. Okay. Okay, do you want me to talk you through everything? Um, yes, please, if you wouldn't mind pointing. Do you see stuff um, with all that writing? Oh, no, no, no. We, we're the only ones that see that. Oh, okay. That's special. Everyone, okay. what everyone else sees is this. Oh, wow. Yeah. So they just, oh, they're not seeing me. They're just seeing No, I, I just angled it to, to keep this, but they were seeing you. Okay, good. They were seeing that's important, you. right? Yeah, yeah. See, <laughs> there you go. That's you. That's Amy. Hi, guys. Okay. They were seeing you. Don't worry. All right, do you want to point? Okay, point? let's talk. Okay, let's right, talk. Let's get the tour, tour out of the way. Nugget, you look so excited. All right, do you yes. want to talk us through this? Okay, so generally we start at the bottom and make our way to the top. However, okay. I like to tell people about having their crumpet first and kind of working in with the sandwiches. Okay. Crumpets are toasted twice. Is this a they, crumpet? That's a crumpet. This is a crumpet. And it should be a little crispy on the outside. I wouldn't waste too much time. I would eat that soon. Eat it right now? Yeah. Should I put anything on it? Yes, you're going to do either the jam or lemon curd. That is house-made okay. lemon curd. Oh, sorry. House-made lemon curd? Yep. So it's, we make it fresh every two days. Uh -huh. You cannot sell it because it's not preserved. There are no preservatives in it. And what's that? Then we the... use organic strawberry jam. Organic strawberry jam. Strawberries have the most pesticides of any fruit, so it should be organic when you eat that, folks, because you can't, you know, once you get strawberries wet, they're never that good. Okay. And then you have clotted cream. Okay. But save the clotted cream for your scone. Okay. I'm going to angle it this way just so when we do make the recap video, because... That they're going to want to see the okay. reaction. Okay. You know what you're doing. All right. Okay. And so save your clotted cream for the scone. Save this for the scone. Right. Okay. The scone. But, well, that's the thing. Do you call it a scone or a scone? I don't know. English okay. people, um, it isn't always a debate one has. Okay. All the time. All right. So I'm going to do half and half. Does that, can I do like one half of it? And, sure. Okay. And it's finger food. It's so finger don't food. Don't use your finger to spread the jam. Do not use it to spread. I was but not going to. Eat it to. with your hands. Eat it with the hands. Yeah. Got it. When people try and cut up a crumpet, it looks ridiculous, and it flies everywhere. It's too hard. You just gotta just. Should I use all of the lemon on this? No, save some for your scone. Same from some for the same scone. with the jam. Okay. We we're always happy to refill. Got it. But and we don't charge. Most tea rooms do charge for a refill. Mm -hmm. We don't. You hear that? They don't. But don't take advantage of the situation or I might start mm. charging. All right, so this is half raspberry, half lemon. Strawberry. strawberry, half lemon curd. Okay, which I'll, I'll start with the lemon curd. Oh, it's very drippy. Where's your napkin? Put it in your lap. Excuse me. It's because it has butter on it, salted butter. Oh, oh, they're so good. Really? You're not lying? No. Look at this, y'all. Look at that texture inside. Oh. Look at that texture in there. But that's so good. why you want to eat it first because because mm. it's it's yeah. warm. Yeah, warm or crispy, hot. crunchy, soft, buttery. It's so I mean, there's so much going on. It's so soft in there. I I, I want you to see the texture. Mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Is it like an English muffin? It's not exact. I was going to say not quite. No, it's a cross. It's a very good analyzation. 
It's a cross between an English muffin and a pancake that's not sweet. Because you have to make them on a griddle. We do not make them here. Because they're, oh. you know, you can try making a crumpet at home. Mm -hmm. Good luck. They yeah. have to be made. It's a batter. And, um, they have to be made on a griddle, like, right. like a pancake. And okay. they're made in a form which makes them rise a bit. And they get the holes in it. And then you got to toast them. Okay. So nobody really makes their own crumpets. Got it. Unless you've got nothing better to do with your time. Okay. So yeah, we they're um, they're made for us by one of the only English crumpet companies in America, which base has is based here oh. in well in South San Francisco. It's crazy. I mean, it's so good. It's now, so buttery. Crumpets are so nice because you can put anything on them: peanut butter. We do a uh, we do a avocado toast mm. instead of. Toasted, toasted I would love them. love that so much. Well, honey, if you're good, then maybe I can bring you one. I don't. I mean, after all this, I, I'd be surprised. You you would be surprised how much I can eat. But good. well, I can. Chris, would you be so kind as to have lovely Abigail whip up um, some avocado toast? Okay. Can you ask Abigail to do an avocado toast? Of course. Hi, everyone. By the way, for those of you just joining us, we're at a place called. Crown and Crumpet, which is a high tea. I'm trying to find the right sorry, angle here. Sorry, I talk a lot. That's good. We want you to talk a lot. Yeah, sorry. Oh, okay, here. Before you look at this, know that the both the best and the worst things in the world and the best and the worst people in the world are on this chat. Oh, okay. It's all, it's ever, anyone in the world. Okay, and I know that your format usually is not with somebody talking. That, other is, somebody that else. is true. So it's, it's. But it's, it's a, a nice new, change of pace. Okay. I like it. We I love Amy. Love. See, Mackenzie says we love Amy. Oh, thank you, Mackenzie. See? There Ooh, you I go. see another one. There you go. We love her. She needs to know. I love Amy. Hi. It's like a tea party. I'm jealous. Amy is wonderful. Oh, my gosh. See, thanks, look. you guys. Free macarons if you come and have tea with me. See, there you go. <laughs> Free macarons. Oh, my God. Wait, Can you all hear Amy okay from my microphone? Here, I'll put it over here so it's a little bit closer to her. Um... Okay, cool. I'm ready for the next. Okay, okay. Thing. Now we can hold off on the scone. Let's go down to the bottom. Okay. Okay. So we have. So traditionally, you get. Do you want some more tea? Oh, I'm I'm good. I'm okay. good for now. Thank you. Though. So we have our our three tea sandwiches, but we gave you extra so you could try all different ones. Thank you. Um. So and maybe once I've described them, I walk away and you do your thingy because I'm okay, sure. Go wait, you don't like, and I can come back for the sweet. Okay? Perfect. Perfect. So on the top we have an English cucumber with cream cheese and mint. And um, one English cucumber, cucumber cream, cream cheese, cheese and mint. mint. Okay. With a little microgreen. Usually we have more microgreen. I see on that. Yep. Then we have a turkey cranberry. Okay. And then a coronation chicken salad. That's like a curry chicken one? Cur like curry chicken okay. with apricot and almonds. And then honey roasted ham. Honey roasted ham. With English cheddar and apple. Gotcha. And then our egg salad is served on a mini croissant. 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 And then over here, we have some organic greens with mm -hmm. a homemade dressing and some homemade French croissant croutons. Okay. So that, you know, it's, so you get all your food groups in there. Yeah. Your protein and some good, healthy salad. Yeah. And, and what then, about, what about these? Oh, this, yeah. What's oh, that about the little? This so guy. This we, guy. Yes. Yeah, so these are little warm savories. We generally always have a beef sausage roll. So that's a mini beef sauce sausage wrapped in pastry okay. with a little seasoning and then we our other one our other savory uh, alternates so today we have a sun-dried tomato brie and rosemary gougere another french thing so it's a, like a little pastry puff no it's not pastry it's like um Looks like, like a, a little pastry. shoe a shoe you know but it's a savory shoe savory shoe oh a a shoe. S -C -H -O -U. X. yeah okay isn't that right, people? A shoe. That's a gougere is like a little bread roll, but it's super light and airy. There you go. All right. And then get on with that. Okay. You got your mixed berry scone here. And, I, and I'll, I'll get hit that with some cloth with all three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you slice it in half this way. Okay. Not like this. Got it. It's like a sandwich, but don't make it into a sandwich. Don't make it into a sandwich. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You good? I'm good. All right. And then let's, let me just quickly pour you a lychee to try later. Okay. We'll try, we'll try that. I'll, I'd also love a refill on this on guy. The but I have to say, lychee is oh. very strong. Okay. I'm not a big fan of it, but I tell you, it's one of our most popular teas. I mean, I like it. I like the flavor of lychee, lychee, okay. lychee but however you, you say it. You have to tell me if you think it's too strong. Okay. I have a feeling I'm going to like it, but we'll now, see. Now, this puer is looking a little strong. So, I might bring you a little hot water for this. Okay. 
Okay. I mean, I think I, I would actually love to try it like that just to kind of get the full brunt of it unless okay. you really, no, unless no, you feel strong. Ahead and then okay. let me know. Okay. You got a lot of tea going on there. I certainly do. Okay, Nugget. All right. Thank you, I Amy. I will be back. We're gonna, how will I know to come back? I'll, how Whistle. about I flag you over? Okay. I'll flag you. I thought I had a bell. I keep a bell. Bye, everybody. So All right. So we've got everything here. I think this is a pretty solid camera angle. Pull this a little bit closer. Actually. She was a delight. I agree. She passed the vibe check. Good. She's coming back. Shh, coffee. Shh, don't say anything. We're just gonna. It's fine. It's, at least it's not a right now. <laughs> Take the plate and show us. Okay. Yeah, they have like a bunch of custom like plates and stuff here. It says crown and crumpet. Oh, thank you, Sadie. What kind of teas? We have a pu'er tea, and we have a um, lychee black. But before <laughs> anything else, I'm going to give Nugget a little bit more puppuccino. You want some puppuccino, bud? A little bit more. Yeah. Here's some puppuccino for you, buddy. Oh. Um. Want a little bit more? There you go. A little bit more puppuccino for Mr. Nugget. Thank you, everyone. Sorry, I haven't been watching the chat as closely just because, um, you know. talking to Amy, and now I'm back watching the chat. Earl Grey, I've had Earl Grey, but you know, I went, th these are their like exclusive teas. When did I get Nugget? This past February. February. All right, you good? A little bit more? Oh, he's really loving this. You gotta go a little bit lower in there, bud. It's kinda, you like it? Okay, good boy. All right, Nugget's got, all right. I am okay, thank you everyone. I know I reposted the Cheesecake Factory video today, so I know a lot of you are here from that. Thank you for your concern. I am okay, and thank you for asking. All right, so we've got our plate here. Where should we start? I guess we'll start with the cucumber mint sandwich. It's got cream cheese, cucumber, and mint, and pepper, and some microgreens, so let's see. Oh, that's nice. Very refreshing. Very. It's like a. It's a very like. It's been a long day. Let me have one of these sandwiches. Was that just cheesecake factory on top of the Macy's? Yes. Mmm. Mmm. Not really well. It's so refreshing. I mean. That's exactly what you think. Cream cheese, cucumber, the pepper and the microgreens add a nice bit of flavor. Bread itself is very soft. That's good. It's really good. All right. Um, what should we do next? We'll go for the, you know what, let's do this guy. This is the rope with rosemary on it. So, taking a blanket, sausage roll. Mm. I don't even taste rosemary, honestly. That's solid. What age did I transition? 27, and now I am 30. Isn't that right, Mr. Nugget? It's kind of hard to see Nugget, but he is, he's in here. You can see him. Um, we are currently at a place called Crown and Crumpet, which is a very, very cute um, tea shop in San Francisco. All right. What next? Mm, what about this turkey cranberry? <gasps> Get out of here. Yeah. Um, just real quick. So it's avocado toast. Okay, here, let, let me. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I'll get a thing. <laughs> I spilled the tea. I literally spilled the tea, everyone. Get it? Yeah. I think we're going to need some new sauces. I, I do apologize. <laughs> I'm so sorry. At least, at least it wasn't me. Yeah. It's you. It is me. I do this. I do these things quite often. It was the fancy tea, too. No, wait. No, it was the lychee. It was the lychee, not the pu'er. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, let me just get this. Here, this is... Okay. All right. We're good. We're good. 
All right, I'm gonna go get you some clotted cream and cheese. Thank you. Sorry about that. Oh gosh, don't worry. It's always the adult to do that. Thank you. Kids. Okay, Isn't it? so your avocado toast on um, Keep, go ahead. crumpets. On crumpets. With a um the tomatoes are grilled with balsamic reduction and then some microgreens and some um, black sesame. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Should I eat these immediately because they're warm? Okay. Here we go. Mm. Nugget, I wish I could give you some of that. I don't think dogs can have avocados or tomatoes for that matter. Wow. The crumpet is just like such a perfect vehicle for avocado toast. Truly. Mm. The avocado. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Crumpet is kind of like an English muffin, but much, much better. Softer and more textured inside. Mm. Let me see it close to up. Yeah. You can see there's like a lot of ridges and like vertical columns in there. It's kind of hard with the focus, but like Google the inside of a crumpet and you will not be disappointed. Mm. Mm. Yeah, y'all, if you're visiting San Francisco, this is a place to come for sure. Mm. Is it French cuisine? No, this is English. This is afternoon tea. Mm. Oh, English muffins aren't that common in England. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, lots of people in here. I'm going to eat the other one because it's warm. Mm. San Francisco weather today, nurse. Gorgeous. Blue sky, sunny. All this light is natural. Mmm. Mmm. No good is watching closely. Oh, God. I got, I got lemon cream on me. If anyone ever says that I'm coordinated, don't listen to them because I'm not. That's miles away. Dogs can have tomatoes and avocados in moderation. Really? Is that true? Connie, are you there? Can Connie chime in on that? Connie's the one I trust on this issue. Yes, that's fine. Thank you, Amber. Connie said, yes, that's fine. As in like, you're good to go. One more, one more thumbs up from Connie, just to make sure I'm here. He can have some perfect. All right. Here's a little bit of avocado. For you, Mr. Nugget, just a little bit. Here's a piece that doesn't have any seasoning. And a little bit. There you go. Just a little bit on your nose, buddy. Hi, Ratchy Betsy. Thank you, Amber, by the way. Amber sent a few dollars. I appreciate it. I'm going to finish this up. Hmm. Gotcha. Thank you, Brett. Scrumptious is the word. Oh, it's so buttery. You see me around SF? Cool. Where have you seen me? Mm. Mm. Get out of here. All right. I'll try the salad really quick. So I'm seeing mixed greens, cucumber, strawberry, croutons, and some sort of balsamic. Maybe a little bit of cucumber in there, too. Very nice. Refreshing, simple, nice palate cleanser. Solid. All right. I want to get too full too quickly. Back to the sandwiches. Sorry, if you can't totally see Nugget, it's hard to get a perfect camera angle here. N Nugget can eat a strawberry. That's right, you can, can't you? All right. Strawberry for Nugget. There you go. There you go, bud. Enjoy that. All right. Um, let's do the turkey next up. This is what we were about to do before the, um, whatchamacallit here. Hi, Gicha. Welcome. 
tier of good sandwiches. Yeah. Okay, so this is a turkey cranberry sandwich. Uh, audaciously, I am at Crowning Crumpet, which is a afternoon tea uh, spot in San Francisco. Weekend was okay. Weekend was solid. Good bread. You know, I'm not usually huge into cranberries, but these really work here. Mm. The salad itself is not too mayonnaise-y, which it can be sometimes. A lot of flavor. Obviously pepper, a little mustard, celery maybe? No. It's a really solid sandwich. Like, and look, I've had two sandwiches in the past that are, hi. You want to say hi to Nugget? He's a very good boy. His name is Nugget. I thought you were talking to the camera. I am, but if you go any further, the camera will see you, just so you know. But he, you're welcome to pet him. He's very nice. He's a good boy. Isn't it so incredible? Yeah, something like that. It's always a day to celebrate. Uh, he's an old man, yeah. yeah. He's very spoiled. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I hear you. I hear you. Take it easy. All right. That's so sweet. All right. Um, how much sugar? I haven't used any sugar in the tea yet. Interesting. Wow. That is strong. Yeah, the lychee tea, which is what that was, very strong. Like, very, it's very, per it's almost like perfumey. It's so strong. I almost kind of prefer the pu'er. Pu'er. Oh, they have coffee? Yeah, they have coffee. But it's a tea place primarily. You know what I'm saying? It's like ordering a salad at McDonald's. Why would you? Where were I yesterday? I don't stream on the weekends, Julie. I only stream on um, weekdays. All right, what next? Um, yeah, let's try this little guy. This kind of looks like a little popover, sort of. I forget what she said was in here. Cheese or something? That's nice. That's a nice... You know what I call this? A nice, a nice little nibble. It's a little nibble. I am back to normal, Rachel. Yeah. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Was I able, able to find myself a pair of shoes? What pair? Mm. This is pu'er tea, so no milk. Thank you in the forest. That was a nice little nibble. It was a nice little nibble. Those ladies were nice. Um, I did not forget to get you for a nice dinner. Oh, well, thank you, Amy Ray. Yeah, did you want me to go to a specific place with it? Is that what you were getting at? I was asking because a few days ago... Oh, no, I didn't get those. We were just shopping, I think. Any Monopoly over the weekend? No, but I am playing Monopoly tonight with Katie. Um... Hi, Marianne. Sorry, there's a lot of comments. I'm trying to read them all. Let's do another one. Let's do a... Mm, let's do the croissant. So this is a an egg salad croissant. Croissant. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, that's good. It's hits you with the salt, but not too salty. It's like boom, egg salad. Hello, you know. Croissant's really good. Clearly, there's there's plenty of bakeries around here. Either they got it here or they got it close by. Very buttery. Very buttery. It's not gonna fall, y'all. Don't worry. <laughs> mm. The egg salad itself, very complex. Dill? I think that's dill. Celery, egg, onion, probably. Cuts the um, the croissant very well. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Jess. Mm. Hi, Adrian. You good there, Nug? 
I know, not everything here is for you. Here, I'll give you a little piece of bread. How about that? Actually, can I give him whole wheat bread? I'll give you another strawberry. How about that? I'll do another strawberry. Ketchup to your egg salad? Have I ever been to England? Yes, many times. Here you go, bud. Enjoy that. Um, what should we do next? Should we have a scone, a scone interlude? I know Anya does a busy stream. A scone interlude? I feel like it's, it's time for a scone interlude, y'all. And then we'll do the other sandwiches and then we'll go up to the, uh, the sweets. Mm. That's good. The places have I been is, visited in England? Um, London, Cotswolds. I've studied abroad in some, I know it's not in, in England, but I've uh, spent a semester in Glasgow. Hi, Nina. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Okay, so this is lychee tea. Actually, I'm going to pick a new cup. Ooh. Fresh cup. Lychee kongu. Very strong. It is good. Hi from Scotland. Hello. I live near Newcastle. Cool. Thank you, Clary. Okay. Scone interlude. Here's what we're going to do. First, I'm going to move this tea so it doesn't... With somebody. Let's clean off all the tea that I've spilled. Perfect. Now, she said very specifically, the, club, the cups are very clean here, yes. Um, they're only asking because we've, it's not always been the case of the restaurants we've gone to. Ooh, I can already tell this is going to be so good. Okay, so they said, cut it down the middle, not in half. I'm following instructions. Okay, I don't know if I did that well. But, what are you going to do? What is a scone? It's kind of like um, a scone. What is a scone? It's a scone. There's scones in America. Jam first, then cream. Okay. Jam, cream. This good? Sound about right? Mm. 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 Yes. 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 No further commentary needed other than yes. Wow. I mean, you can just see the fresh blueberries in here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. The yellow is lemon curd. Yes. We'll try a little bit of lemon curd on here as well. Try a bit with lemon curd and the clotted cream, of course. Maybe a little bit on top there, just to balance out the ratio. Yes, yeah, Steffi, I hear you. <laughs> mm. Mm. Cool, Lauren. Mm. Am I at the Ritz? I might as well be. I'm at a place called um, Crown and Pumpet in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, let's do a little bit more jam on the next one. A little bit more jam. Cut that in half. And then half of the re remaining clotted cream. Beautiful. Mm. 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 Is lemon curd similar to a pie custard? Yeah, more or less. A little bit lighter, but yeah. It's like lemon pudding. Okay. It's a little bit sweeter and more, you know, dense. Puppies, you can't see him, but he's, he's there. I promise. What is this called on the menu? Afternoon tea. It's like their signature serve. Mm, LHG tea is good. Um, okay, next up, um, we'll do coronation. This is like a curry chicken finger sandwich. Very good. Just gonna tear it in half. 
smells like solid. Very check it. Mm. Oh. That's quite nice. Dude, that's quite nice. I mean, what they call this in America is curry chicken salad, right? I guess they call it coronation chicken elsewhere, but I see chicken, raisins. Don't count out the raisins. They're good. Almond slivers, it seems. Almond, maybe? Or is that a water chestnut? I think that's an almond. Celery. Curry, of course. Curry powder. Mmm. Not oh, really good. That's really good. They have a Michelin star chef in the back, by the way. You don't know. Mm. Mm. Look, I'm not huge into raisins, but they really, really work. Like I would, I only eat raisins in other things. What's the cost of this? Um, I think you go away with like, I'm getting a lot of extra stuff, but it's really very reasonable. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this guy next. This is the ham and cheese. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, what was this one? Hey, Amy. Hey, Amy. Yeah. Remind me what this one was called? It's the one with ham in it, I think. That one uh, is the ham English cheddar and apple. Hang, ham, English, cheddar, and apple. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Perfect. Mm. Oh, there we go. Ham, English, cheddar, and apple. Look at that. It's kind of like a chicken salad, but with ham. And cheese. You know what? No, it's more like a, a pimento cheese, but with less cheese and more meat. Mm. Thank you, everyone. There is a Michelin star chef in this tea house. Yes. Yes. Like professionally trained chef. Mm. It's part of the reason it's so good. <laughs> mm. Thank you, Olivia. Ham salad. Yeah. With English cheddar and apple. You can taste the apple. You can taste the cheddar. You can taste the ham. It's all coming through. Very good. Coronation chicken was created for Queen Elizabeth's coronation in 1953. Yeah, they have other drinks other than um, Hey Chris, would you mind grabbing me a menu, please? Would it be okay? Could you grab a menu? I had some questions about it from my, my chat. We're going to answer that question. Sure, Jerry. What is the difference with English cheddar? I would imagine that just means it's made in England. But I will ask. I will ask. We are having tea go school. Thank you. And is there a dip? What's, what makes English cheddar English? Is it just made in England? Yes. Or? Okay. It just comes from Okay. <laughs> Got it. I don't know if there was like a different technique or anything. I mean, it's, cheddar theoretically is like champagne. Oh. It should only be is made it? in cheddar in some sense. Is it really? Yeah, but I think no one. Attention to it. Well, good for them for not being snobby about it because champagne very much is. Mm. Fascinating. You hear that, y'all? Cheddar is proprietary now. There is a place called Cheddar in Somerset, which is where it's supposed to be. Wild. Interesting. Well, thank you. Sure. Appreciate the extra info. Did you have any other questions? No, someone was asking if they had things other than, other than tea, and I'm going to let them know that there very much Excellent. is. Yes. Drip coffee, espresso, Americano, cold brew, latte, matcha latte, chai latte, London fog. What is a London Fog? London Fog is an Earl Grey tea with steamed milk. Okay, nice. Hot chocolate, mocha, cappuccino, babe, baby chino? That is a... Uh, baby little, chino? What is a baby chino? It's a, it's it's a like a cappuccino a without any coffee. Gotcha. <laughs> and then iced or hot tea to go. There you go. You here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is so great. They're loving this, by the way. Oh, they? Thank you. Yeah. Um, are you ready for desserts? Um, I think we're about ready for the, the spiel on the desserts. Okay. So let me come over. 
Okay, I'm going to try my final bite of scone with all three. Okay. And I'm sure a bunch of British people in the chat are very upset about that. Sorry. Oh, did they say something about which way to put the trump in or the strawberry? And then um, I've had an interesting text pass on. Is everything okay? Well, it's a little curious. I don't know if I should say something or wait. You want to show me? Yeah. Okay. But no one has no child has been in here. So people do that? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Okay. I, anyway, I wouldn't. I wouldn't worry about, worry about it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because it's a lot. Okay. Um, so, how are we doing, Nugget? Let's talk about desserts. So, up here on the top, you usually you work your way up to the top. So today we have a apple crumble mini tart. Okay. With a fresh cream little dollop. Apple crumble mini tart. What happened? I can tell you what happened. They need to know what happened before I'm sorry, you guys, but it is, I mean... Someone texted you and said that I said something inappropriate to a child. Three times they've done it. Wh which child? No child has been in here. No child been here. Yeah, so it's a total... So somebody's, like, got way too much time on their hands. This is all being recorded, so it's so all So if there. you're out there watching this and sending us texts on our shop phone, get a life, friends. I mean, come on, you're wasting your time. We're it's not all done. being recorded. Y'all can, can check the tape. I have yeah. no idea what they're talking about. Basically, people will do what do and say whatever they can because they're anonymous. Nobody knows who they are, so they're yeah. For all we know, it's someone in like someone, I don't know North Carolina who right. just like wanted to try Mess and stir right. trouble. Yeah, because yeah. even if it didn't happen, they assumed that because I'm a trans person, right. that it is my nature to do so. So that of course they're right. Even if they didn't see it, it happened, right? Oh my God, isn't that incredible? Man. Yeah. I just, it's, it's dumbfounding. Yeah. Whoever you are, don't, don't text Crown and Crumpet. Say what you got to say out here. Come on, y'all. We're just trying to have some fun yeah. and food. The tray is not, there's at least like a half to a two thirds of an inch before it falls off the table. But yes. <laughs> Thank we you all for your we've all been watching. We know that we've been talking about sandwiches and tea, and there's been no young ones involved with any of it. So there you go. Thank you. Yeah, because all I want to do is support you and everybody out there and enjoy and have fun. So people got to just chill out and get educated. Okay, back to sugar and yummy food. So you've got your apple crumble. Then you've got. And can you say one more time? Say what's in there. Oh, yeah, it's an apple mini tart, basically. Okay. So, um, it, you know, she'll have done some lovely sauteing with butter and, and cinnamon and, and apples. Yeah. And can you talk a little bit about your chef really quick? Because I mentioned Michelin star, but I want to get Okay, so Abigail's our new chef. We, uh -huh. we, we don't go through chefs very often. They, okay. they tend to stick with us. Okay. Um, but Abigail's new. She just moved to San Francisco, and she had spent um, – she's trained back um, – up north in Oregon originally, but then spent f um, four months in France working as a uh, in a in a Michelin star. I don't know how many stars they have restaurant in the south of France. Okay, as a pastry, um, I don't want to say trainee. I mean, I guess she was. She wasn't the pastry chef because, of course, you know those are old French, but not old, but French folks that well, they don't necessarily have to be French, but they've been doing this a long time. So she did get did an amazing experience with them for four months. Mm -hmm doing French. So we're not, I mean, we're English, but when you can do French pastry, you can do anything. So she's been with us for about a month and we love her because she's a great communicator and she has great ideas and enthusiasm. And English afternoon tea is kind of a new concept to her, but I mean, I mean she's nailing it. Totally. What, so she? what are the, some of the things we've had so far? Was Were the popovers or what? what, what the gougeres. The yeah. gougeres, oh, yeah. A, yeah, it's kind of like a popover. Mm -hmm. The gougere is one of her influences. The croutons. The desserts uh, are really... These croutons, are, I've just been picking these croutons. Really? I haven't, I haven't even had a chance They're to good. have one yet. I'm no. going to pick one from yours. Okay. Um, but like today, like she's done a madeleine. Oh, is that then, glitter? Yeah. So okay. she's done a madeleine with a jasmine glaze and then... We love a little glitter. We love sprinkles. I'm sure y'all can see the glitter. 
you can't see it, it's there, I promise. Yeah, and when she sprays it on, it's edible. Oh, onto it's the, spray um, glitter? Yeah, it's a it's a food grade spray on glitter and it sprinkles all over the kitchen and we all get little bits of glitter on us. And then we can lick it off. <laughs> um, okay, not each other, that'd be gross. Um, and then, so that's the Madeline. So it's a jasmine okay. infused glaze. Ooh. See how it's a little lavender I color? do see that, yeah. It's I, a um, little, it's ever so slightly purple. Yes. So I wouldn't um, have noticed if you hadn't even said anything, but I see, I've told I see it. I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then, um, oh, wait a minute. Okay. So then we have, I'm just going to say I'm yapping on the phone. Okay. Then we have a little blackberry lemon coffee cake. Kind okay. Of cake. And then we always do a dark chocolate chip strawberry because you got to have a little fresh fruit in there. Okay. But it has to have some chocolate on it. Of right? course. Right. We'll, and, we'll save that for last. Okay. Yeah. And I will say strawberries are good right now, mm -hmm. but um, our desserts change at least every couple of days. So, but you always get your strawberry. Good. And then that's the fun thing. So we get people coming a lot, mm -hmm. like at least once a month, because they know they're going to have something different every time. The same, in the same tradition. Okay. So I shall leave you. Thank you. So you can consume without judgment. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be great. Thank right. you for the spiel. Okay. You're welcome, honey. Go get it. Um, all right. Hey, that's, that's my upbringing. Oh, yeah, baby. Me too. Hold on. Okay. Uh. Thank you, Callie. Thank you, Judy Lynn. I appreciate it. Trying to move past ridiculousness. <laughs> Which should we eat first? What do we think? Should we? I'm, I'm thinking this is the first. You know what I'm saying? This guy? All right. We'll try this one. You ready? Thank you, Amber. Is that a bigot payment? Oh, my God. You know, it's one of those things where you just like take a bite. You're not expecting it to be incredible, but not, not that I didn't think it was going to be, but oh my God. Wow. Look at that. It's like oozing out from the inside. Mm. Oh, the apple is still very present. Like you can chew the apple. Yeah. That's an apple. Um, like, mm. Mm. Wow. Wow. That might have been one of my faves for the day so far. I mean, you talk about just a perfect two bite pastry. Yeah. Texture and taste, it's all there. I mean, you when you bite into it, you can ch kind of chew down on the bits of apple, right? And the caramel is so clearly handmade. Like, mm, this is lychee tea. Where I got the earrings, these are, um, I got them at an art fair. They're lesbian flag stained glass butterfly earrings. Thank you, Mads. And thank you everyone for uh, the support. If you're, if you're new, someone, yeah, someone texted the owner of the place I'm at and tried to like get me kicked out or something. I love your dress. Oh, thank you. Is it from uh, that one place that's yeah. down? Upstairs. Oh, there's, a, is there a shop upstairs? Yes. Oh. I work in the shop. Cool. We sell these dresses. Uh, if if you want, I would love to show my stream your outfit. Oh sure. There's just just fair warning, eleven hundred people watching. Okay, let me just come and say hi. What's your name? Brittany. Y'all, Brittany. I have to show you Brittany's outfit. Here, you ready? Look at. How would you describe your outfit? Um, you call this Harajuku style. Harajuku so style. It originated in Japan. And in this building that we're in having lovely tea today, we have a shop. Yes. What's it called? Uh, Baby the Starshine Bright. Baby the Starshine Bright? Cool. So after tea. Maybe go check it out. Thank you. Uh -huh. Appreciate it. <laughs> so I just, you know, I saw her outfit and I was like, y'all got to see this. She looks incredible. Oh, sorry. I do follow some Harajuku creators. 
Addie Harajuku. I don't know if you know her. Yes, we were in Japantown. All right. Um, here we are. Make sure you can see the rest of it. Um, yeah, we're in Japantown. This is the shop is in Japantown, like the main stretch right across from um, like the Japantown Mall. All right. Mm, what should we do next? Let's go for Madeline next. The Madeline. This is a jasmine, jasmine, lavender, lavender infused. I think glittery Madeline. Lavender is just a little salad that I haven't gotten to yet. Let's see, it's nice, dense, smushy. Oh my! Oh, that's moist. Oh, that's really good. Mm. I mean, the thing about Madelines is that they're just so dang buttery. Jasmine, okay, what's well, Jasmine? That's good. Thank you, Miss Daniel. Mm. Just so buttery, so soft. Mm. Do they offer gluten-free options? That's a great question. Um. Do y'all offer? Sorry. <laughs> Thank you for being so attentive. Do y'all offer gluten free options? Yeah. Really you do? Only, there you go. We're the only tea room that does a full gluten free afternoon tea. Wow. You hear that? The only tea room that does a gluten free tea in the Bay Area. In the Bay Area. <laughs> or in the world. <laughs> we'll say in the world. <laughs> Who knows? It's very good. So we do gluten free bread for your tea sandwich. Okay. Stone, mm -hmm. which we make in house, okay. But we are very careful about it. So if you have celiacs, we like to know that you're coming mm -hmm. with the gluten free order potentially. Got it. And if you have celiacs, because we're super extra careful there. Gotcha. Because um, a lot of people are gluten sensitive, and you know, it's okay if there's gluten around in the same room, but if you have celiacs, you have whole separate equipment. Wow. And then, um, so, Thank you, so gluten free scone, gluten free bread, and then the dessert, which mm -hmm. are always a strawberry. Then we do French macarons, which are almond. Okay. Um, and then two other, like usually like gluten free brownie and, or lemon bars. So yeah, we always have it. Dairy free is tricky. Mm. Um, a lot of people, some people gluten and dairy. Then okay. We have a okay. But dairy free, just take your little dairy. What was that people take? You always see pop. We find the wrappers. Um, you know, you can take, take the lactate. Take the lactate. Take, take the lactate. Got because, it. You know, dairy. It's, dairy it's a tough one at a, at a, at tea. Yeah, yeah it's tough. exactly. I understand that. Yeah, cool, awesome. Right. Thank Here you, you appreciate it. Uh, this place is called Crumpet and Crown. Crown and Crumpet, excuse me. Crown and Crumpet in San Francisco. All right, we have two bites left here. We've got our lemon crumble bar, looks like. Thank you, by the way. Jackie just sent a nice little gift. Appreciate it. Hey, Sheila. All right. Very soft. I see kind of like an oaty crumble on top, some blueberries. Clearly, it's lemony. I call him. Mm. Oh. oh, so interesting. This might be one of the best ones I've had. One of the best ones. Okay. Context. Context. Oh, yeah. Shall we? Oh, thank you, pickles and gravy. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I am rarely into lemony flavored desserts. That being said, this, oh my God, wow. No one saw that. No one saw me just drip custard all over my chest. Um, <laughs> I'm on one today. Are they, um... Kelly, I don't know. Y yes, the answer is yes, but I'm not sure about a donation. Um, didn't see anything exactly. I miss whatever Maiden Fame said because there's so many comments going by. But if you, someone wants to post it, I'm assuming I would also say congratulations based on Connie's reaction. Okay. I'm not huge on lemon bars, but this is such a subtle lemon flavor. Mm. Mm. Like, a lemon bar doesn't get better than that for me. Oh, congrats, Maiden Fame. How'd it go? Mm. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Wow. Incredible.
Um, yeah, white bread, jar of lemon curd to make sandwiches. Yeah, I mean, we've kind of been doing that, but I know what you mean. I kind of just want to eat the rest of this. <laughs> this is so good. Is this sacrilege? Brits, is this sacrilege? Homemade lemon custard? Mm. Mm. He is a very patient doggo. He's also gotten some food, so don't worry. Mm. It's just so good. I would be thrown out of actual tea. Okay, cool. Cool, Carly, no rush. Thank you. Is it a lemon curd? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, our final bite. The strawberry. Put your hands up. This is a strawberry. Apparently, this is like a signature here. There we go. I'm going to... I'm going to... Should I do it? Nah, probably two bites. Two bites. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, that chocolate's so good. Oh, it's so sweet. Mm. It's dark, dark chocolate. Mm. Maybe that was a three biter. Mm. What was better, the apple thing or the lemon bar? I think they're both really good, but I like the apple bar just a little, the apple one a little bit more. Just because I think I like apples more than like lemon flavored things. Mm. I never like strawberries and chocolate. People think I'm insane. Look, each their own. Oh no, nothing wrong with the salad. I'm just, I got way more than the normal afternoon tea, which is already a lot. So the salad was kind of like the thing that I chose to not go super hard on. I hate everything else. It was good though. It's a good salad. I have to say that was a good effort for afternoon tea in the U.S. I agree. I mean, to be fair, one of the owners is British. They're uh, husband and wife owners, and one of them is Brit. One of the, the husband, Chris, is British. So they're both very nice. They're always here. They, they clearly, like, care about this place, you know? Like, this is not like a... This is a, an, a labor of love for them, obviously. Like, the, the attention to detail of... All of the cups, right? They're all branded. All of the plates, they make sure that like the, the sayings are um, different whenever you sit down, like everyone has a different saying, you know what I'm saying? Like it's things like this that are clearly labor of love. And it shows because you can feel it. You know what I'm saying? You can feel it. Amy said the tea has high caffeine. Am I feeling the cat? Well, here's the thing. Yes, I am feeling the caffeine, but also I drink a lot, a lot of caffeine. So a lot of caffeine for a tea is like normal for coffee, you know? Yeah, I would highly recommend this place. Um, I do bring my fur baby everywhere. Speaking of which, you good here, Nug? Um, oh, thank you, cat dog. Yeah, like this is one of those restaurants. Y'all know that when I go to a restaurant, um, the uh, sabotage, what, why, I don't want to talk about that restaurant. <laughs> we had a bad time at that restaurant, so I can't recommend it to you. Um, thank you, Erica. Y'all know when I talk about restaurants, typically I talk about both food and service. And even though it seems kind of counterintuitive, I think service is more important than food by a nudge. They're both important, but like for, to prove my point, would you rather go to a restaurant that has excellent service and mediocre food or excellent food and mediocre service, right? Like, would you rather have incredible food and like the servers are kind of rude or vice versa, right? I think we'd all probably choose excellent service and mediocre food. This is a place that has it both in spades, right? Which is actually pretty rare, right? Like it is pretty rare to get both of them. A lot of times in San Francisco, a lot of times we'll have good food and bad service. Last Friday was an example, um, but this place has it both. And that is why 
it gets my full recommendation. And look, have I been here before? No. I've been talking to them for a while. Full disclosure, this is, they're like comping the meal, right? But I came here, I, I, I reached out to them because I saw the, the room. I talked to them and I, they were like, it like felt good. So that's why I'm here, you know? Like I wouldn't do this for a place that isn't awesome. So anyways, that was tea. Should we get give Nugget another strawberry? Also, if you like my streams and you like my voice, I do uh, a podcast every week. I just dropped a new episode uh, about my terrible experience at In-N-Out. Um, it's called My Trans Best Friend. If you want to subscribe, it's free. You can listen to it anywhere. Uh, and if you want an additional episode every week that's early, you can go to my Patreon where you can pay like five bucks a month to get, what is it, like 10, 15 hours of extra content a month. Like so much stuff you get just for supporting me and helping me make my rent every month. Um, Patreon.com slash Lilitino is the place. And I think all of the people who are on the Discord is just one of the, the perks you get um, from joining will attest to the fact that it is like a little family. It is really, really nice. It's really, really nice. Um, really great. I mean, I've made friends. I know a lot of people have made friends. <sighs> Bye, Lana. See ya. Anyways, yeah, Nugget is adorable. We're just feeding him some strawberries right now. He is a very good boy. Medium-sized family. Yeah, it's not small. <laughs> There's a lot of people in the, uh, the Discord. You like that, buddy? You like strawberries? You like the strawberries? He's like, yeah, I do. Uh, he is stinking cute. I agree. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Hollis. Yeah, so that was Crown and Crumpet. Pretty incredible meal. I'm really happy this, this worked out because actually, earlier this morning, we were going to do pizza making at home which um, one of these days we'll get to do, but it's just the drilling in my apartment. Um, you know. So anyways, I reached out to them like two hours ago. I was like, hey, I know we've been talking. We haven't been able to nail down a time. Let's do it today. And they were like, yes, and I came. And it was it. Awesome. You good, dear bud? Yes, the doggo. Isn't he cute? He cute, buddy. You cute, buddy. Yeah. You good boy. He's so cute. He's my favorite. Thanks, everyone. This place is actually very gorgeous. But a nice text. A nice text. Someone sent a nice text. Okay, can so I see it? It was a 386. I would have no idea. But that was nice. There are nice people out there. That's good. I'm sorry to have put you in the middle of the... To, to even have any sliver of the hate that I get on a, on a day-to-day, -day. I'm sorry you had to experience that. No, I don't worry. But, you know, we do live in a bubble here in San Francisco because we're, I mean. You think, like, but think. yeah. Because, I mean, you hardly ever encounter, well, compared to what must be out in the rest of America. Yeah. But it sort of brings it home, like, how people who are different than your average bear, how, what they put up with. It's ridiculous. Yeah. We're in a little liberal bubble here. I mean, I have a full-time, well, full-time is maybe not the right word, but a full squad of volunteers yeah. who spend lots of time every day just constantly deleting hate comments. Oh, really? Like every other comment. That? Oh, yeah. Because I give them, like, moderator access. Oh, I see. It's like a whole, there's like 20, 30 people. Jesus. They show up every day. And even then, it's too much sometimes. Yeah. Because there's just so much of it. What the hell's wrong with me? Has it always been like this since social media? It's been worse it in the past Trump? couple of years. Yeah, because he's yeah, sort no, of allowed, a... given agency to people to say whatever the hell they want. And now our Florida guy. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but um, we keep it safe. We have yeah. good vibes. Oh, totally. And yeah. yeah, I'm sorry you had to see that, but I'm That's okay. glad. It's a good reality check. Sure. That yeah. people suck. They do. A lot of them. Yeah, yeah. 
But hey, it's worth it, honey, because you're so much fun. Thank okay, you. Okay, let me clear some dishes Okay, here. thank you. Are we still working? Are we still um, going? I'm working on everything except the tea. I think I'm good. The salad was kind of the, the I had I had to jettison one as not to overeat, and the salad happened to get it. But it was it good. It always does. It was and good. it's too healthy, but whatever. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> it looks good. I mean, it looks like we're trying hard. It looks really good. It is good. It tastes good. The good. croutons are homemade, obviously. Yeah. They're solid. All right. Do you need more hot water? In the tea um, I think I'm good. I think How I still have like some. Tea in the it is very strong. Yeah. It like looks like needs a refill of hot water. It's very. I think I'm good on what I have, but. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think the puer 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 was my favorite. Oh, good. It was oh. very good. Okay. Thank you. So I should make this one. Cool. Okay. Yeah. For what? Um. Yeah. Um. Thank you. B R X bin. Can we see the puppy? Sure. Oh, they took the strawberries. That's oh no wait, there's more strawberries over here. Strawberry? You want a strawberry? Want a strawberry, bud? You gotta stand up for it though, so they can see your face. There you go. There you go, Mr. Nug. There he is. This is Mr. Nugget. <laughs> yeah, there's a pup here. That's for you. That's for you, buddy. But yeah, I'm going to see Katie tonight. I'm very excited. Finally, for the first time in a long time. Yeah, I agree. Where'd I get my cute earrings? Uh, I think it's, I think they have an Etsy shop, but I got it at an art fair. I think it's called Queer Colors. I think. It's like very explicitly a lesbian flag, butterfly, stained glass earring. And I have a matching necklace. I just didn't wear it today. Thank you, Susan. I will have fun tonight. Thank you. Egyptian chamomile? Well, finishing will happen later tonight, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know if they have Egyptian chamomile. I'm not seeing it. They have chamomile. I don't know about Egyptian, though. Hi, ginger gal. Enjoy. Thank you. No thanks. Yes, his name is Nugget. Um, he's a multi mix. He's a rescue senior. He's about ten years old. I got him earlier this year. Yes, the tea room. Yeah. I do not know what that is. They probably do. They have like an extensive tea menu. So, I mean. Basically, you can, I don't want to say every tea, but it seems like you're not going to, you'll be able to find something you like. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Ginger. Yeah, he, Nugget lives, lives the, the good life for sure. He is very spoiled. Yeah. Thank you, Mandy. I know he looks like a puppy, but the, the trick is in his, this eye right here, it's, it's got a full cataract on it. He's blind in that eye. He also has back problems. I agree. We are a good match. Um, I've been on hormones for a little over two years. Hi, Tina. Thank you, Charlie. Nugget can also eat tomatoes. Can Nugget eat tomatoes? Yeah, he sleeps in my bed. Yes. Yes, he sleeps in my bed. We snuggle every night, don't we, buddy? We snuggle up. And give you Betty rubs, you give me snuggles. Uh, Crash Matt, we are at a place called Crown and Crumpet, which is a tea room in San Francisco. I highly recommend. He is always this calm. Yeah, the only time he's not this calm is um, when there's someone at the door. He will bark. Uh, I got Nugget in February of this year, so only pretty recent. But I, I've had two dogs in my life, including Nugget, and both have been um, uh, seniors, adopted rescues. No, no. Here you go, bud. You like the strawberries, don't you? Yeah. You bring the strawberries? Yeah, you like the strawberries? You think they're yummy? I wish you could eat strawberries all the time. I get that. I get that. He is the cutest dog yet. Doggy ever. Yes, it is costly to live in San Francisco. Very costly. Okay, now the strawberries aren't coming. His head goes down. Backstory and Nugget, he was a he was a stray. That's it. Is this place pricey? Not really. I mean, you know, no, it's San Francisco prices, but like, 
I don't like probably be able to keep it in double digits pretty easily, um, depending on how many people you are, of course. Uh, thank you, Linda. Of course. Thank you, Mel. Yeah. Strawberries are fine for dog. It's the grapes that are highly toxic. Yeah, that makes sense. A little bit of lemon curd. Eh, I think we're good. I think he's good. He's already had all of his uh, meals for today. He used two, two meals a day, and I try to get them earlier in the day. Now he's gotten this extra treat, plus a puppuccino he had earlier. You almost that. Um, a postcard? Yeah, I know. I have Nugget merch. At, um, if you go to my website in my bio, if you, there's a mug that says Nugget for President. So if you want to get in, there's like a really nice illustration of Nugget on the mug. It's like a big tumbler. Um, yeah. Nugget for President. There's one with a pride flag. And then there's also one that's like him as Uncle Sam with like a little American hat on it that says Nuggy for President. Nugget for President. I don't. He did have a puppuccino, yes. Hi, Linda. Yeah, there is Nugget merch. I haven't really talked about it or promoted it much, but it's there. Just got to look in my bio. Best way to support me, any of the, well, um, Patreon or Venmo, Betsy. I would say either of those is fine. You get the most in return for Patreon, but if you're just looking to support me, I mean, you can't go wrong with Venmo, PayPal, or Cash App. But up to you. Did, I, did you name him? Yeah. I, in, I initially named him Howard because um, his shelter given name was Hayward. So I said Howard. But then I looked at him and I was like, ah, you're just a little nugget, aren't you? And so now his name is Howard Nugget. Howard is his legal name. Nugget is his middle and usual name. What's for dessert? We just had it. This was all dessert, basically. Thank you, Lisa. Hi, Carly. Um, yeah, so Nugget is my, my special boy. He's my special boy. You're my special boy. Yeah, I love you, buddy. Thanks for coming with me today. Uh, Hayward, I don't know why they gave him the name Hayward, but that was the name he gave him, they gave him there, and then I just like tweaked it to Howard. Um, a baby? You could say that in the pram. <laughs> My dog has the voice of Mariah Carey. What does that even mean? Am I going to the shop upstairs? I'm worried there won't be Wi-Fi up there, and there's stairs, so probably not. Um, yeah, I agree. Y'all, a lot of people are seeing the Cheesecake Factory video for the first time today, because I reposted it. So if you're here from that, hello. That happened a few months ago. Um, thank you for your concern. I'm okay. Okay, I'm in San Francisco. Um, are we doing the makeup to get ready for Katie? I wasn't planning on it. I wasn't planning on it. I was thinking we'd just hang out for a little bit. Because I don't think I'm gonna do much makeup beyond this. I think I'm just going over to her place. Nothing too crazy. I haven't seen her in like a month, so. You, know, you can imagine what's going down. Uh, Oh, thank you, Kelly. I appreciate that. Who's Katie? Katie is a girl I've been seeing. Um, yeah. Katie isn't her real name. It's her stream nickname because she didn't want me to say her real name on streams. Um, but she's another trans woman. Been kind of going on dates with lately. And she's really nice. How do you gain confidence to go out and eat alone? I don't know. I just do it. That's something I've never really struggled with, eating out. Like going to the movies alone. I don't know. Hi, Debbie. Yeah. Not well, Sophia. The Cheesecake Factory management, I would say, in the words of Gen Z, fumbled the bag majorly. Uh, and I'm not Gen Z. I'm a millennial. So I'm not sure if I'm even allowed, allowed to use that. But um, it's, what, it's true. They fumbled it. Thank you, Kelly. Tyler asks if I'm going to do vocal feminization surgery. Uh, Katie, you can ask any question you want as long as it is in good faith. Um, did she come back to harass you more? No. No, she just left. Um, thank you, Stacy. Yeah, you should. It's fun eating out by myself. It's so empowering to sit comfortably in public. I take myself on dates, as you should. As you should. Our chef just made a. There's more, y'all. There's more. It's a pistachio baked well tart. So in England, the baked well tart is a real classic um, treat to have, like with a pot of tea or sometimes, you know, made small. 
But this is with it's pistachio. Warm. It just came out of the oven. Just came out of the oven. So Big World Tart is usually with almond taste, but this is pistachio. Oh my god. So it's jam and then frangipan and um, pistachio. So you got to try it. Oh, I will. Should I just okay. go straight in? Yeah, take it. Okay. It's a little warm, so like it's not that hot. I mean, is that yummy? It's more than yummy. Oh, good. Okay. Scrumptious. Wow. Yo, look at this. Look at this. There's like, I think, raspberry in there. I didn't know there was going to be fruit. There's like a pistachio. Oh my God, look at this. Scrumptious. Mm. Mm. I mean, that might be the best bite of all. Mm. It's And it's like, it is very much just out of the oven. Like, you couldn't try to warm this as well as it's warmed. Oh, yeah, the plate. Oh, yeah, here's the, the, new, the new quote from this plate is, men's phobia about tea, tea rooms makes them miss a lot of good eating. That it does. That it does. I'm going to read it one more time. Men's phobia about tea rooms makes them miss a lot of good eating. Mm. Like. Mm. What lipstick this is Sephora lip stain number one. In fact, I will reapply it now. This is in San Francisco. It is called um, Crowning Crumpet. Highly recommend. Oh, you want more? Cucumber? You want cucumber? Here you go. If you're wondering why I put it in my mouth first, is to lick off the balsamic vinaigrette. Read some of the other quotes? Sure. Here's to tea and bite-sized cakes. Here's to hoping nothing breaks. Tea to the English is really a picnic indoors. Do I do my own edits? Um, sometimes. Depends. I have a very kind soul named Briar. Briar, I don't know if you're here. Who um, helps me. So sometimes I'm doing it. Sometimes they are. Bread and water can so easily be toast and tea. Oh, I like that one a lot. Bread and water can so easily be tea. Thank you. I've never you just watched the turf video. It's pretty crazy. I think those are the ones that are on this table, but apparently there's 14 of them. So there we go. Um, not really, Damien. I mean, nothing really happened. You would think that there's like closure at the end of that video. There's really not. That's maybe even more upsetting. I never, I, the manager of the Cheesecake Factory handed me his email address on a card and later that day I emailed him, never heard back. Never heard back. Oh, thank you, Stacy. All right, a little bit of lipstick reapplication. Oh, by the way, by the way, if you have a second, go on Crown and Crumpet on like Google reviews or Yelp reviews and write them a nice one. Um, just cause they've been so good. And like, this is a comp to meal. Um, there's no pay exchange happening, but uh, they're doing this all out of the goodness of their hearts. So Crown and Crumpet, Yelp, Google, whatever. Just drop a nice little five star review. Talk about how nice they are. Yeah, I agree, Julia, I agree. Um, they are so kind. I don't know, did, did it go okay? Did the rips, lipstick reapply okay? It did okay. Close enough. How do I get my pup in? I usually just take him in. Um, thank you, Ellie. I appreciate that. Oh, did the sound go off? No. No, it should be going. Hi, Felicia. Yeah. Crown and Crumpet. C-R-O-W-N and ampersand Crumpet. C-R-U-M-P-E-T. Crown and Crumpet. 
just go and drop a nice little five-star review for them. Thank you, Jess. I appreciate that. Thank you, J.K. Stellu. Thank you. Hi from Australia. Hello. Hi, Daisy. Thank you, Kelly. What does it say on the stickers? They're all like unique quotes. Every plate has a different quote. And they make sure that your table all has different ones. He is well-behaved. I agree. He's the sweetest little dog ever. You're the sweetest little dog ever, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're such a good boy. You're my favorite. You're my best friend. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Teria. Teria or Teria? Uh, hey, from Newfoundland. Hello. Who just to win? How much? I didn't catch their name. I'm not sure, Julie. Um, thank you, Mama Bear, for writing it. Tell them to check the reviews. Oh, okay, I'm sure they'll see them at some point, but y'all should all drop five stars because it deserves it. They deserve it. Thank you, Patty. I appreciate that. I should post this as a video for review. I will. I will. Probably in the next week or two. Um, I'll have one of my video editors, or my video editor, put it together at some point. Yeah. Um... Oh, thank you, Anna Jane. Yeah, I think that I kind of revitalized the Cheesecake Factory video this morning. So, All right, I think we're pretty much good here. Uh, you all want to walk around a little bit? or Thank you, J9. What do you all want to do? Crowning company, crumpet showing how kindness is done. I agree. Oh, thank you, Josefina. Thank you. Um, you can go walk around San Francisco. It's a gorgeous day. I mean, wow, gorgeous. We want to see the shop upstairs? I suppose we could. I just don't know if the Wi-Fi is going to hold. We'll give it a shot. I think my mom has the same tablecloth. It's a very cute tablecloth. All right, we'll go to the upstairs, upstairs really quick. Um, what is that? Yeah, a lot. Thank you, Shelby. Thank you. And anyone else who can write a review there. Also, if you like me and you like my streams, the best way to support me is on either... Patreon, well, Patreon is the best way to support me. It's like five, ten bucks a month. You get so much more stuff. Like you get to be on the Discord where there's like a whole community, family, friend chat happening 24-7. You get podcast. Like I streamed for what, an hour and a half this morning on Discord. You want an extra hour and a half of me? You could have had it this morning on Discord. Um, and yeah, I also have PayPal, Venmo, Cash App if that's your thing. But Okay. I think it's time. Do I have Nugget Sling? No, we might have to carry him. Here, let's stand up. <laughs> By the way, this is what I'm wearing today. Belly button is getting there. It's still a little bit red and gross sometimes, but we're getting there on the belly button piercing. Thank you, Christy. I appreciate that. And thank you to anyone else who left a review for Crown and Crumpet. Okay. All right. Let's see. I think I got everything. He does have his own stroller. It's gonna be really tough to get up into the store. Um, just because it's on the second floor and I really doubt that the Wi-Fi is gonna hold. Um, I apologize. I think we're going to not do that today. But we'll walk around Japantown, okay? I think there's another trans woman here, or trans feminine person. 13 new reviews? Heck yes. Amy, thank you so much, Chris. Huh? You can if you want. 
Bye, Same everybody. Name. Thank you for watching. Uh, apparently, we've got 13 new five star reviews for you, so that's good. I um, told them all to leave five. five. I just left them, told them all to leave good reviews for you on, on stuff. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Um, that's cool. Yeah. And um, thank you for bringing my little nugget back. Of course. I'm, I'm already possessing nugget. That's okay. But, um, you and everyone. Yeah, yeah. I bet. Oh my God, it's so cute. Yeah. But um, I hope you enjoyed everything. Thank you, and thank you for having us. Right. It's been right. huge. Yeah, well, I mean, everyone How here loves people? it. I mean, we got we had like, a, we had like what, 12, 1,300 people oh, concurrent at a certain point? Probably like 10, 20, between 10 and 30,000 unique people, probably, oh so far. God. I will let you know. Chris, is also the dishwasher. Yeah. Dishwasher. Hey, oh, it's a family okay. establishment, right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Awesome. Um, that, that's Lily. That's so funny. Good to meet you. I'm Lily. She here. You're, um, I'm on uh, TikTok. He's yeah, I, um, I, she. Get out of my car. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm <laughs> starting up a, uh, a radio today. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm starting up a uh, High Calyx, the Berkeley radio station. What is it? I'm starting up like a queer public affairs. Um, and so I'm always trying to give people time that they want air, air time. I'm sure you get plenty of time outside of that. But, but yeah. Sure. Yeah. Do you like my content? Uh, yeah, do you want to shoot me in a DM on Instagram or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or? yeah, yeah. Like, um, uh, L, uh, I'll, I'll tell you when you're ready. So we go on a, uh, it's a radio, radio? Is that what you mean? In terms of airtime? Yeah. Should we go on the radio? TikTok or Instagram either is fine. My what? Yeah. All right, I'll do it, y'all. L I L L Y T I N O underscore. You got it? Awesome. Good to meet you, Opal. Take it easy. All right. Um, off we go. All right, y'all. Hi. Here we are. Did Amy make me pay? Um, no, we had agreed that it was comped. Uh, and I'm going to make a video recapping the meal at some point in the next couple weeks. Uh, the place is called Crown and Crumpet. Um, so, yeah, I highly recommend it. Crown and Crumpet. Yeah, they're very nice. How hot is it? Not very. It's like 65 maybe outside. Uh, they, they didn't they didn't charge me, y'all. There's no no place to do any of that. So, um, oh, it's all it's all good, Lauren. I'm gonna post. I'll, at some point, I'll put like the full video out there, um, so you can like go through and look at it all. Um, earrings from where? Queer colors. I think it's called. I mean, actually, I do have cash on me. I guess I could go back and I didn't even think because it was comp, but no, no, I could go back and put a 10 on the table. No reason not to. Although they might think it's, they might take offense to that because we had agreed on comp. What do we think? Should we do that? Okay. If it's com it's comped, I mean, there was no, there was no agreement on any sort of payment. I think it's fine. It was the owner too. I, I go back. I mean, it's fine. You wouldn't. It was the owner. I would not. It was just, it was the owner, the, the husband and wife that run it were the ones. We had agreed on a comp meal, so. Chris is the husband, he's, he's also the owner. <laughs> They're all owners. It was all the owners. 
Okay, we'll do a pull. We'll do a pull. We'll do a pull. I can go back. I have a 10 on me. Smile if I should go. Now, keeping in mind that this is the owners that I arranged this whole comped meal with. Those are the people you heard from, Chris and Amy, both owners. Smile if we should go back and leave 10 bucks. Frown if we're good because they were the owners. Smile, smile, if it was no waiters, all owners, all owners, not a server. Yeah, thank you, Karin. Okay. I'm just going to go and do it because... They own and y'all talked it over. You're good. I mean, I'll do it just to be safe. I'll do it just to be safe. I'll do it just to be safe. There was no server. Okay, okay, okay. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. I'll just, I'll just go. I'll walk by them one more time and wave and make sure the vibe is cool, and then we'll go. We'll leave it. Yeah, I think they're going to get offended if I do. Honestly, I think it's an offensive thing. I think it's offensive. I, I think it's offensive. I'm not going to do it. I agree. We're not going to do it. I'm just going to say bye one more time. Just wanted to say bye. See ya. Thanks for everything. Take it easy. We're good. We're good. All right. Um, all right. So that's that. Oh, is it windy? Can y'all hear the wind? I can turn on the noise isolation. What do you think? Should I turn on the noise isolation? I'm good? Okay. Yeah, I am promoting their business. Normally I charge about a hundred plus times what I would have paid for the meal. So I think it's pretty fair. Um, anyways, um, thank you, Victoria. So we are walking down post, oh no, not post, what is the street? Fillmore, I think. No, this isn't Fillmore, this is Webster. How far am I from the Castro? Pretty far. Pretty far. Uh, we're in Japantown right now. Y'all want to go to the Jap Japanese supermarket? That could be fun. I'm not sure how the service is in there, but we could give it a shot. We can go to the Japanese supermarket and give it a shot, see what's in there. I'm not sure if dogs are allowed. We're going to find out. Got a new Lovely. Sorry, I missed it. Was it Shelby? Was it Shelby? Shelby, did you sub? I think you did, didn't you? Shelby. Yes. It's Shelby. Shelby, welcome to the long ways. I am so happy. We finally got you in. We got you. Welcome. Um, make sure you join the Discord, please. Are you in the Discord yet? Because if you aren't, you should. That's the place to do it. That's the place to be keeping in touch with everyone. You don't, have to you don't have to message me anymore. It's all there when I'm going live. It's there without even having to ask. <laughs> I'm, happy you, I'm happy you sub, Shelby. Next time we do Fortnite, you can uh, play with us as well. All right. If the service kicks out, let me know. All right. We're about to find out if dogs are allowed. All right. No one said anything. Cool. Should I flip? I'm gonna flip the camera. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh -oh. Okay. I'm flipping the camera. Japanese supermarket. Hello. Uh, Gary. Let's see, like some kind of takeaway bento boxes. Got some. 
Nari, which I believe is like a sweet egg or tofu package. Some rolls. Eel roll, tuna roll. It's pretty good. Only 10 bucks each. All right, this is where the service might get a little wonky. You can see this, all these different drinks you really can't get anywhere else. Everything is Japanese. I have no idea what I'm looking at other than peach flavored Goku, peach flavored Frieza, Dragon Ball Z drinks, coffee. We got, well, I forget what this is called. Ramoon? Yeah, Ramoon. You like pop the ball in. Goku soda. What is this? Energy? Okay. Nutritional supplement. Got it. Yuzu. Energy gel drinks. Green teas. More teas. How much is Coca Cola? I have no idea. Oh, Coke. It is $150. Not $4. Look at this selection of Pocky. That is a lot of Pocky. <laughs> Pretty much any Pocky you can imagine here. <gasps> is my mom here? <gasps> Hi, mom. Elsie, ma Elsie Mina's my mama. Hi, mom. Uh, we're in a Japanese supermarket. I mean, they have every Pocky. They've got double rich matcha. They've got crunchy strawberry. They've got chocolate. They've got regular strawberry. They've got banana, cookies and cream, regular matcha, almond crunch, crunchy strawberries, pretzel. Crunchy everything. Toasted sugar. I know, I saw, I said hi, I said hi. Nugget, you're good. We've got, I don't even know what this is, Calpico? It looks like rice water, maybe. We've got, ooh, mochi. That's all mochi. Some lemon candy, maybe? Mochi? Probably mochi. Hard to say. We've got the coffee section. String cheese, craft. Cool. We know craft. Ooh, there's macarons. You don't see that very often. Thai iced tea macarons. Interesting. Let's turn here. Bunch. Is that soy sauce? Oh, noodle soup base. Interesting. Hmm. Kombucha? I'm not sure if there's kombucha here. Probably. A lot of different snack foods. A lot of different snacks in here. I, I, call, I say poke, but I don't know. Lots of different candies here. Milk candies. Let's see. So much stuff in here. Cold brush, I guess that's mint. I mean, you could eat for days in here and always have every bite be something you've never had before. Macadamia, something or another, crunch, chocolates. And I'm only showing you half of the aisle. There's just so much here. Premium Ghana? What does that mean? Okay. Interesting. Shrimp chips are good. Okay. What is this? Oh, these are Pocky. Are these Pocky? I guess these are Pocky. <gasps> it's, oh, y'all, it's the thing where you like get to make the food. You know what I'm talking about? It's like the thing where you, you like do it and you make the food. You know what I'm talking about? There's like TikToks about this. You know what I'm saying? You like pour the powder and then you pull it through and the, you know what I'm saying? Sorry, Ashley. They have ramen, they have gummy, they have donuts, they have bento box, sushi, what the heck? It's all candy too and you make it fascinating. Emmy made, made did these. Oh, Emmy made, yeah, yeah, I know her. Candied lemon? It's like more chips, shrimp chips. Stuff I've never seen before. Cheese almond. Ooh, I think I've had these before actually. They're like a cracker with cheese and then almond. That's exactly what it says. 
These look like more crunchy chip looking things. Wasabi peas. Ooh, look at this. More mochi. So many mochi flavors. Banana, peach, blueberry, orange, mango, muscadine, muscadine, muscadine. Nugget's getting a little anxious. <laughs> he doesn't understand where we are, what's going on. <laughs> oh, is this so much stuff here? What's this? Tea? Matcha. This is all matcha. Got it. Lots of matcha. And other kinds of tea. Speaking of tea, we were just at the tea place. Look at this. Green tea. I mean, any kind of green tea you can imagine I got here. This is all soup stuff. Ramen accoutrements. Nuggets here. Not nuggets exploring with me. Lots of soups. I would imagine there's a ramen aisle. Yep, I see it from across the room. What is this? No clue. Just like, I guess maybe this is like the equivalent of the hamburger helper section, sort of. All right, so there's lots of meats over here. Kind of turn around a little bit. So we got some rice. Oh yeah, that's rice. We got the big bags on the bottom too. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna get anything. What is that? Anime rice. Y'all, they got anime rice. Not just regular rice. Anime rice. Oh, there's a lot of rice. This is all rice. All different kinds of rice. You can get handmade mochi in the mall outside the store. Yes, you can. My mom's done it. That's my mama, by the way, Elsie Nina. If you were curious, what is this? That's an expensive bag of rice. A five-star rice meister? This rice was selected from around 500 Japanese rice brands as the ultimate brown rice. Huh. The ultimate brown rice. Demon Slayer rice. Thank you. Okay, I think we're in the ramen aisle. Lots of different ramens. I see everything. Um, is that Shin? I don't know. It's like Shin, maybe. I mean, it's hard to say. Lots of different kinds of ramen here. More ramen. Sapporo Ichiban. More ramen. More ramen. Volcano chicken noodle. Honestly? I, oh, here's the Shin. There's the Shin. Shin's good. Some beer. So here they also have a frozen section. Let's take a look at the frozen section. We've got miso, salmon, some other kind of fish. A bunch of meats that I really can't identify. Fish that I can't identify. Ooh, are these what is this? I have no idea what that is. Naruto Maki Gokuch. It looks like a pancake. It looks like a little rolled up pancake, but I could be wrong. It could be fish because it's in the fish aisle. Who knows? These look like patties of some kind. Ramen base, maybe? Unclear. I think this is just like the fish section overall. Fish cakes, got it. That guy was just in there. So I'm gonna find him. Lots of meats. Ooh, they've got sushi fish. Look at this. Oh boy. Look at all this sand or tuna, excuse me. I mean, this is very much sushi grade salmon and tuna. Monkfish liver. Ew. Wasabi. Fresh wasabi. Fresh wasabi. Ooh, row. Those are all fish eggs in there. Only seven dollars for one of those. And then also Tobiko, which is a little bit bigger. <gasps> then they have the big ones, the big fish eggs. Shoyu ikura. What is this? Boiled octopus. No, thank you. We've got shrimps. We've got dried salted anchovies. That's octopus. Some sashimi. Sockeye salmon, uni. Uni is a very expensive one. 
black tiger shrimp, yellowtail, sardines, petrel, sea bream. It is very fresh. Our best choice, halibut cheek. Interesting. Striped bass, squid. Ew, I've never seen a squid like that before, and I kind of want to unsee that, honestly. Wow. Wow. Okay. Moving on. Back through the ramen aisle. Back through the ramen aisle. Back through the rice aisle. Oh, here's more. Oh, those are from frozen ramen or frozen udon noodles. A lot of frozen noodles in here, y'all. Frozen soups. Frozen dumplings. Oh, yes, please. I wish we had these at my supermarket. We don't. It's sad. Gyoza, dumpling wrappers, curry chicken buns. Interesting. <coughs> and a mame. All the Japanese foods. It's all here. It's all here, y'all. Nugget is drilling. Nugget is just like, what is going on right now? Hi. Eggs, meats. This looks like kind of like a hot pot situation. Like if you wanted to do hot pot, you could do it here. Thin, thin slices of things. Shabu. Yes, shabu. That's hot pot. More fancy noodles, fancy noodle seasonings. Ooh, this stuff is good. Have y'all ever prepared fried bean curd? Huh. Interesting. That looks like snow cone topping. That's fine. Do they have sriracha? Um, good question. I know it's been tough to find, but we will keep an eye out for it. Even my local restaurants don't really have it much anymore. Lots of sake. This is the sake aisle. What is this? More fish cakes, more like fresh fish cakes. We got some fresh. What is that? Seasoned bean thread salad. Huh. Pass, but thank you. More noodles. Tamago tofu. Tofu, more tofu. Lots of tofu. Soup kits. Tofu, tofu, tofu. Tofu, tofu, tofu. Yeah, there's a sriracha sword shortage. There was like a bad yield of a crop or something, so now it's crazy expensive. Organic miso. Lots of miso. This is wasabi? No, no. More sauces, more miso. What is this? Bamboo? Is that bamboo? What is this? Does anyone know what this is? Shimazu? I have no idea what that is. I think my guess is bamboo, but I don't know. Pickled bamboo is my guess. Pickled oh it's radish, of course it's radish. Of course. How could I have been so naive? It got Lots of herbs and stuff. Some mushrooms. Some cabbage. Okra. Ooh. Oh, no, no, that's shishito pepper. Never mind. Okay. Oh, good luck, Carly. Okay, I think. That's basically it. We might have missed an aisle or two, but I think that's mostly it. Let me head out. Oh, we've got like the home goods aisle. Wow. I'm not going to lie. The fact that they put these creepy dolls does not make me want to bleach my hair. I don't want to look like any of these dolls. Nothing about these dolls is like, oh, if only I could look like that. It looks like Mithrigan. It looks like Annabelle. Come on, y'all. Come on. Japan, get it together. Hair dye boxes need to change. Mouthwash. Uh-oh. That section. 
All right, I think we're just gonna head out. I don't have any. I don't have anything. Thank you. Happy Monday, Kath. I'm back. All right. Well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to walk towards Fillmore and uh, walk up to get on the one. That's the plan. Because that is the closest line to my apartment. Hi, Jessica Marsh. I mean, yeah, that store is a little bit far from me. Sorry, there's a guy rolling a trash can behind me. Um, it's not, I mean, it's far enough away from me that like, I need to take the bus there and back. But if I ever, if I really was someone who, you know, really preferred Japanese groceries, like it wouldn't be that bad. I got nothing against Japanese groceries, but my, I have a Safeway that's literally like very close by. Hi again. Good to see ya. Yeah, it is beautiful here. I agree. Look at this. Isn't it nice? Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, I'm glad we got to go. I'm glad there was good reception in there, too. Like, it's not... Oh, whenever we go inside, sometimes it's like, you never know with reception. That place? I had good reception. Uh, we were in San Francisco. Put, put what in the bottom of the stroller? Oh, you mean, like, food? Yeah, but I also... I don't know. I don't really need groceries right now, either. Nor do I really want to transport anything more than I already have. I'm so full after that meal. How's it feeling? Uh, here's what we're coming up on one of the few Burger Kings in San Francisco, if not the only Burger King, because it's been so long. I would imagine this is like a Burger King that was grandfathered in. Hi, brown eye girl. Thank you, makeup. I never need anything at the grocery store. It's true, but it's much easier to make impulse purchases when you are close to home. You know what I'm saying? My podcast is on Spotify. Yes, it is. It's called My Trans Best Friend. I just dropped a new episode. New episode alert. I wonder why Burger Kings are closing. Well, I certainly haven't been to a Burger King in a long time. So, I don't know what, what it is about Burger King. But then again, I'm also not really big into fast food much these days. Especially when you're living in San Francisco, it's like hard to be excited about fast food when a better version of it exists literally everywhere. <laughs> I do have a YouTube channel. It's all linked in my uh, my link tree if you want to listen to my. Well, I do. Vi- every podcast episode also has like a video associated where it's. I mean, it's just my face, but like if you prefer to consume your podcast with a video element, it's there. I get that. Um, the food is expensive. It's true. It's true. San Francisco is very expensive, but you know what? I'm an expensive girl. Also, San Francisco is one of the few places left where trans people can feel safe. So the price, while high, is more than worth it. (laughs) BK's onion rings? I just don't like onion rings. Onion rings, fried pickles are both of those and a couple other similar things, with a major exception being french fries, uh, is something that like I find is, ma- is much better without the batter and fry. I like onions. I like pickles. No need to fry them. I'm good. I'm good without it. We are going to SF this weekend. Uh, wear an SF makeup by you, Sue. Because... San Francisco is a big city. Go to the fair. What? What fair? Is there a fair happening? You hate pickles? What do pickles ever do to you? Deep fried cheese curds? Now that I can get down with. It's more when you deep fry things that are not cheese or potatoes that I get an issue. I wish fries like here could be made like In N Out, Marble Mink. Have you listened to the most recent episode of my podcast? Because if you haven't, you'll hear... Just look at the title. Just look at the title. Fried cauliflower, I'm down for. It is starchy enough that it is like... I I like fried cauliflower a lot. A lot. Especially when it's got buffalo sauce. That's good. Fried ice cream. eh. 
I have nothing against fried ice cream, but I prefer ice cream on its own. All right, we are pushing Nugget up this hill. How's the audio, by the way? Can y'all hear the wind or are we good? Tempura fried veggies. God, I still can't believe that someone literally texted the restaurant owner to say something totally crazy. Isn't that wild? I'm still processing. Now that we don't have like a million people here, I am processing. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I don't know what happened. Um, yeah, so some lady, or I don't even know if it was a lady. Who knows? Someone like texted while I was at the restaurant Crown and Crumpet. Someone literally like texted the owner some crazy very false stuff and like the owner was like what the heck is this and i'm like welcome to my life can y'all hear me or am i frozen i might be frozen oh there we go yeah can you hear me now yeah i'm here okay okay good 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 good, good. yeah anyways so, yeah, that's what happened, Mom. What did they say? They said that I, like, harassed a kid. But there are no kids in the restaurant. <laughs> or as far as I know, in the stream. Like, they said that I said something inappropriate to a kid. And it's like, what kid? We're here eating tea and crumpets, my dude. The real Rosie? What about Rosie? Wait, Rosie O'Donnell is here? Oh. Hi, Rosie O'Donnell. Are you there? Hi. What's up? <laughs> it's the real Rosie. Cool. What's up, Rosie O'Donnell? How's your day going? <laughs> Welcome to my stream. What a Monday. My stream is really great, Rosie. You're going to like all the people here. We got a good community. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyways, now that, uh, yeah, so anyways, that's what happened is we had a, but then of course someone else like texted something really nice to the restaurant owner. Oh, should we, should we restate the tea for Rosie? All right. I'll, I'll, I'll restate the tea. Literally. Yeah, it's fine. Oh no. You heard it. Look, I think more than anything, Rosie is going to understand that. People got a chip on their shoulder against queer people, and it is just kind of, you got to roll with the punches. It's a Monday. People going to spread lies. What can you do? What can you do? Um, the meal itself was really great. Like, really great. The, the shop owners were really nice. The husband and, husband and wife team were really nice. Jewish. One of them was British. They had great crumpets. It was great. Yeah. Uh, I think my favorite one, I don't know. They were truly incredible. I'm trying to think what my favorite. I don't know. It's one of those things where like the service itself is the best part of the meal. Like the food was incredible. Oh, of course, pickles and gravy. I want to go back too. I think it was great. I think it was great. I would definitely go back. I would 100% go back. Oh, okay. yeah. Woo. Yeah, I see that, McKenzie. <laughs> I'm trying not to freak out that Rosie O'Donnell is in my stream. We're t I'm trying to play it cool. You see what I'm saying? Try another tea place. I don't know how... Yeah, I'm playing it cool. See, I'm playing it cool. <laughs> Our mod meetup at Crown and Crumpet. Yes. Thank you, Rosie. You are cool too. Um, yeah, when the mods finally all come to San Francisco and we do a big meetup, it's going to be Crown and Crumpet all day. <laughs> yeah, cool. See, cool. This is, my, this is how I act cool. Cool. That's me. <laughs> oh, Rosie does lives? That's cool. 
we're all cool. <laughs> oh, it's funny. As I walk down the street, and understandably so, because I've got my camera out, people think that the camera is pointed at them when it's definitely not. So sometimes people will live or live wave. They'll be like, oh, and I'm like, thank you for the wave, but <laughs> I wouldn't just put you on camera, I promise. Oh, God. Yeah. We're all rizzing. Indeed, we are, Brit. We are all rizzing. Yeah, I didn't know Rosie went live. I very rarely, like, just scroll through TikTok sometimes. But I'm sure now it will show me Rosie's life. What's cooler than being cool? Ice cold. Indeed. Indeed. And now we can pass by all of the nice stores that have cute dresses that I can neither afford nor fit into. There's one in particular that I really like. I forget which one. So they've got these cute little, like, blue and white tops. Last time I was there. Oh, thank you, Clara. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Rose is going to get in our Discord. <laughs> oh, I love it. Um, oh, I actually got a, uh, what's it called? Y'all know Cider, right? I have that one shirt from Cider. I think y'all know my Discord crew knows what I'm saying, but I just got like six shirts from Cider and they are all, uh, they're all arriving like in the next few days. So we can do a try on together. Is this the place that has all the cute stuff? What do we think about this? Anything I could rock this? I think I could rock this. You know what I'm saying? Is it my style? I'm honestly not sure. I feel like I could do it. Red is my color. Or, or, or. What about this? What about this? This is pretty good. I will tell you how the cider hall goes. You don't think it's my style, but my color, yeah. I feel really attached to crop tops and things that show things off body-wise, which is why this is like, I'm so into this, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of what I got from Cider was like a variant on this kind of thing. I am a crop top. A little too boho, shabby, chic. Interesting. Thank you, Amber Lemon. I am a crop top girl. Crop top girl. You've been living in a not crop world. I need single. All right, we're going to sit down for a second here. Thank you, Isabella. All right, we're going to sit down with Mr. Nugget and cuddle with him for a second. Any tips for confidence in crock tops? Crock, crock. I am getting crock heels, by the way. Um, honestly, when you put it on, know that you look good in it. Just know, and you... It's so hard to just, like, generate confidence out of nowhere, but that's kind of where confidence comes from, out of nowhere, sort of. Like, there's nothing you need to do to gain confidence other than be confident. But at the same time, like, factors in your life will help you be confident, right? Like, for me, I gained my confidence when I started making trans friends. Um, I think it's different for everyone. But honestly, just put it on and fake it till you make it. Give it a shot. Thank you, Luisero. Oh, hush, pickles and gravy. Hush. I'm sure you look incredible in a crop top. And I will not believe anything otherwise. So don't you dare say anything mean about yourself because we will shoot down any negativity here. Isn't that right, lovelies? Not allowed. Not allowed. Here's Mr. Nugget, by the way. Monsieur Nuget. Monsieur Nuget. Monsieur Nuget. You good, buddy? I look like Winnie the Pooh with crop tops. I feel that. But I know, Isabella, because I've seen pictures of you, that that is not true. You look like a babe in crop tops. And you can't say, oh, you don't know, Lily, because I do know. Because I know what you look like. Because you have posted pictures of yourself. So I know. And I see. And I've liked them. 
I've super liked them. Get used to it. Thank you, Sammy. Uno momento, please. Uno momento. Did y'all hear that? Are y'all hearing this? Am I? Are y'all hearing that or no? Okay, good. Probably for the best. Probably for the best. We'll just keep moving. Eh, you know, look. San Francisco is a wonderful place. One of its main unaddressed crises is the homelessness crisis. And it's very sad. And I wish I could do more than I do. But it also leads to a lot of situations where people are not in a good state. And that's what that was. Good, go school. Keep dressing. Dress yourself up. Walk around with the girls on display. Like, you know, in a way that is legal, of course. But you know what I'm saying. Ooh, an amusement park? I would so love to go to Disneyland. Like, I'm, I'm going to tell you what. One of these days, I want to go to Disneyland and I want to stream the entire thing. Okay? The other day, I planned out a whole trip. A whole trip? With restaurants and, like, rides that I want to do. It's just a little bit expensive. So, we'll get there. Though. We'll get there. If I can make it a business trip, sort of. You know what I'm saying? They were not speaking another language. <laughs> they were not. They were just not in a good state of mind. I know, wouldn't it be so much fun? And I know that people will stream from Disney World, which makes me think that there is good reception there, which is good. Because it would be a huge bummer if I showed up and they were there is not good reception. But what are you gonna do? I'd love to see you have fun. Yes, the Disney like honestly, who needs rides when you can go around and do all the crazy food they have? Really, Disney World is the move when it comes to food. Um, like there's way more, I think, food stuff, especially with Epcot, but Disneyland, I think is, because obviously I'm in San Francisco, Disney World is tough to get to, and especially uh, uh, Florida. Oh, thank you, user. User 39. Yeah, the, the homeless crisis is awful. I agree. Uh, I live near Disney World and can confirm there's way more to do than the rides. Yeah, and look, I've been to Disney World many times because I grew up in Florida, right? You're coming to Disney World with me. Oh, thank you, Lauren. Um, so I've been to Disney World many times, but I've never been to Disneyland. So in some ways, I'm more curious about Disneyland, even though I have done the research and understand that Disneyland is not quite as expansive and ambitious as Disney World. Disney World, it seems, are like, is like kind of like Disney World 2.0, even though I didn't really realize there was a 1.0. Not to say there's anything wrong with Disneyland. There are some rides that are in California that are not in Florida that I really want to ride. So, um, all right. Well, I'm kind of just walking around at this point. I guess we can just keep walking. No reason not to. Oh my God. This guy's car. I believe this is a trike. Look at this. Whoa. I don't know if you can hear the music. That's pretty, honestly, that's pretty cool. I'd ride one of those probably. Um, yeah, I, w I will stay out of Florida. Don't worry. <laughs> Ain't got to tell me twice. I know like, in the past year, it's gone from like, ooh, Florida, maybe not the best place for queer people to physical danger alert in Florida as a trans person. Like physical danger alert for, for me, you know? Like, it's not good. Like, I would be scared the whole time. Sure, there are places in Florida that would be better than others, like, you know, Orlando. But I've been... I've been around in Florida, I know. Lily, we will always be friends, won't we? Yeah, yes we will. Of course. I used to live in South Florida, which is okay, but uh, exactly. Yeah, I grew up in Sarasota, Bradenton. 
I mean, it's not the worst, but they're definitely like Florida rednecks for sure. I test rode a spider. They're cool, but for two wheels. Oh, you know who we should ask is Don Merman because they just got a new motorcycle. They're like all about the motorcycles. Uh, yeah, go to school. Um, do you ever go thrifting? Um, here and there. I, I find that like I've in the past I've not found a whole lot that is my style thrifting, but I'm very open to it. Hi, Boho. Am I on threads? Yes, I am on threads. Ah, nice walk. Oh my god, your dog is so cute. So fluffy. Thrifting is fun. I do have a YouTube channel. It's there. I have one. What is Threads? Threads is like the new Twitter, basically. The Twitter that isn't terrible. It's only slightly tainted by the whole Mark Zuckerberg involvement, but, you know, I'd much rather take Zuckerberg over Elon any day. So I'm on Threads, yes. Could be cr fun to go thrifting and try on a crazy outfit, yeah. Well, you know what? Um, there's a shop I came across the other day, Jenny Lemons. Y'all know Jenny Lemon? Jenny Lemon? I think it's... I don't know. They're on, they're on Instagram if you want to look them up, but they just have, like, the cutest and most interesting stuff. Um, and I talked to them, and, like, I want to, like, set up a time to go visit and take y'all, because... It's so cool. Uh, all right. I love thrift store, consignment shop, Goodwills, flea markets. You can find great things. Yes, I agree. I can find some great things with my body shape, maybe. All right, I'll tell you what. If y'all, if you want to be my helper for thrifting, why don't y'all go on the internet and find like a couple places. Better yet, a little like an area in which we can hit a couple thrift stores in one stream. Thank you, Tiffany. Um, yeah, that and then tell me, just message me or something. All right, it's three twenty-seven. Cool. Uh, we've been on stream for like two or three hours, which is a good amount. And I have a date tonight uh, on the other side of town, so I got to get back home. I got to walk Nugget get him all set, and then get on the train to go to Oakland to meet Katie. Let me tell you this, y'all. Are you familiar with the song GDFR? Are you familiar with the song? It's going down for real. I just haven't seen her in a month. That would be nice. Okay, so... Here, I'm gonna make it up the hill. We're gonna hit the bus stop together and then we'll call it there. So if anyone has any last parting words, now's the time. Any final questions? Anything that you've been wanting to say to me but haven't been able to say? Now is the time. Wait, did I pass the bus stop? Will I be on Discord for a bit? Um, no, not a first date. No, probably not. Unless there's something we want to talk about on Discord, in which case I can listen in. Um, I kind of like the idea that after every stream, we hop on uh, Discord to like talk about things that happened on the stream. What do we think about that? Neon Anna. I've, I remember that name. Thank you, Celery. Thank you, Wavy. Um... Like, I'd be down to hop on. Do we love that? Okay, we can do that after this. Uh, we'll hop onto the Discord and talk about the stream for a little bit, because I think there's some things to talk about. Um, and if you are not on Discord and you want to be, it's quite simple. You can join in on our uh, spilling of the tea. Thank you, Farah. The way to do it is to sub subscribe on Patreon, okay? Um, which is... About five bucks a month or ten if you want spicy content, which is good. And you get access to our Discord. Um, you just sign up on the Patreon, patreon.com slash lilitino. The link is in my bio. And then you'll get a link. It says, hey, Discord, join. You can have it on your phone. You can have it on your computer. It's all there. It's like a chat room. 
bunch of chat rooms. It's great. It's like a community center for us online. Okay, wait. I feel like I did walk too far. Did I walk too far? There's no way. We had to have walked. Wait, where am I? There's absolutely, I must have walked too far. Okay. Absolutely no way. All right. Get a drink to cool me down. Oh, I'm good. As soon as I stop walking, I'm going to get cool very quickly. Um, does subscribing on here not work? Clara, I'm so sorry to tell you that it does not. You might be able to get in the Discord via TikTok. I think I set it up, but you're not going to get all of the other benefits like early podcast episodes. The thing you get for subscribing on TikTok is mostly a title by your name. Um, that being said, you might be able to get Discord. Maybe. Let me know if you can. But yeah, TikTok takes 50% of everything you pay on TikTok. So if you pay $5 a month for me, I get $250. Uh, Patreon, you pay $5 a month for me, I get for like 80 Yeah, I'm sorry, Clara. I've been pondering <laughs> taking away subscriptions on TikTok. <laughs> Just because this, it, it is... It is my exact fear that people subscribe on TikTok thinking they're going to get the Patreon uh, benefits and then get nothing. That being said, Clara, you might be able, you might be able to get on Discord via TikTok. Let me know if you can. Is Discord an app? Uh, Patreon is a website. So you go on the website to subscribe. Discord is an app, right? So it's kind of like a WhatsApp or things like that. It's a little bit differently organized, but what you have to get the link to join on Patreon and then you can download like a phone app or whatever. I'm subscribing to you. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Clara. <laughs> Message me your Patreon when I get, Oh, uh, Carly, you can just look it up on my, um, on my link tree. TikTok subscribe does give the Patreon link, but I don't know how much it gives access to. I probably most of it. Although I'd much rather, I don't get much money. Honestly, I should probably just turn off TikTok subscriptions. It's not enough money to make it worth it. To have to explain to people. It's really nice. Oh, thank you. Donna just became a patron. Donna, you there? Oh, there's the one. Okay. Um, I should probably turn it off. Turn off TikTok subs. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. Um, okay, cool. So I'll do that. Um, thank you to all the people. That just means no one is going to have the word ally by their name anymore. There's Donna. Everyone say thank you to Donna. Donna just subscribed. Thank you, Donna. Everyone say thank you to Donna. Where am I going to go? I'm on the bus, you mean? Uh, home. To so take Nugget home and then go out on my date after that. Thank you, Donna. All right. I'll turn off TikTok subs after this. So say goodbye to the ally next to your name. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It let me join the Discord. Okay. Well, it might kick you out as soon as I turn off Discord sums at some, at some point, just because I'm pretty sure that link, if you stop subscribing, will undo your access to the Discord, if that makes sense. Um, just keep just keep on, keep that in mind. Um, but thank you anyways. I'm going to turn it off. No reason to have it there. So, so confusing. Um, cool. All right, y'all. So I won't, no, 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 Carly. I'm just not going to have the subscribe option on TikTok, which gives you like the, the thing next to your name. Don't worry. I'm still, nothing's going to change from your perspective. It's just, you can't have the ally thing by your name anymore. That's going to go away. I appreciate everyone who has subbed to me on TikTok because it's very helpful. But at this point, I've gotten to a, a point where I can turn that off and not have to worry too much about my rent. So thank you. Um, all right. How long till the one comes to scoop us? Let's see. Uh, two minutes. Perfect. All right. What do you say, Kimberly? Oh, I'm sorry. It, does Patreon take a percentage? Yes, 8% as opposed to 50. So <laughs> TikTok takes like six times more. Um, eight makes sense. 50 does not. Hi, Dakota. Hello. What's up, friend? 
No, I'm not going to get ice cream. We already had so much dessert, Crash Mat, at the tea place. I'm good. I'm so full. I'm so full. All right. Hi, Andrea Marie. All right, so um, the bus is coming very soon. Um, after this, I'm going to hop into the Discord voice chat. Once again, patreon.com slash lilitino. Um, good, Dakota. Good. How was it? How was work? Um, and then, yeah, we'll just discuss the fact that Rosie O'Donnell was here today and said I was cool, which I think my life has been completed. Or at least I can die happy. I'm not planning on it, but I can't. I guess Rosie O'Donnell said I was cool. Um, I'll be back again tomorrow. Hopefully the drilling is better in my apartment so we can do pizza making. That would be great. Love you too, Julie. Uh, you too, Mandy. And yeah, I guess I'll see y'all. If you're not on, D on Discord, I'll see you tomorrow. If you are on Discord, I'll see you there in a minute. Cool. All right. Okay. Work was easy. Work wise, mentally it was rough. Anxiety was bad. I feel that, Dakota. I feel that. We're hopping in the Discord if you want to join. Okay. We can talk about it there if you want. If you. Want. All right. I'll see y'all there in the Discord. Bye.